What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tournament Fights. This is episode number 54. I'm your host, Jordan Movie Hero Anderson, uh, for this evening, and as always. <laughs> um, and tonight, uh, we're doing something uh, pretty fun tonight. So we're, we are doing an episode dedicated to one of our favorite guests that uh, you know him and you love him from the Schmodown, uh, our regular guest, Moose Haas. And we, we have uh, most of his family members on with us tonight. So that'll be fun because it's always fun to have those people that you have great chemistry with that that, uh, uh, that know you super well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll just jump into it because we've got a big tournament ahead of us tonight. So uh, first off, I'll introduce my, my co-host, Austin Pez Howell. How's it going? Hey. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is, this is a fun one. I've been looking forward to this one all week. Uh, Moose and I definitely have a chemistry on the show <laughs> and a certain uh, uh, thing between us, so we'll see what happens. I don't know if he brought his whiteboard today uh, to have a little <laughs> yeah. fun, as we usually do, uh, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, the, these personal top 64s are always fun. You don't know what's coming up next, uh, but it better be a good time. And yeah, we've got a panel, a full panel that we've never had before, so this will be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, and... Uh... When you were asking me if there's any uh, movies you should watch to try to prep for this, Austin, I was just like, like, well, you and Moose vibe pretty well together. Like, you guys like like have a pretty similar taste, so I'm pretty sure you've seen every we'll see. single movie on this list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> so, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll introduce the uh, guest of honor. We, we have Moose, also joined by his dad there. How's it going? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Of course I have the whiteboard, Austin. I'm ready to oh, go. Of course. He's ready. <laughs> He's just got a miniature version, yes. <laughs> Not the full one from the office. Well, I, I was gonna say at least we at least I know we at least share a mutual love of Billy Zane's The Phantom. So, you know, we at least have that in our yep. notch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much for doing this. This is really, really yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're excited. We're gonna include my family. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love doing stuff like this. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, but I want to introduce uh, Moose's brother, Tommy, next. How's it going? Welcome. Good. How you, how you doing, guys? Good to see you. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. The hey. Phantom. Exactly. I, when <laughs> I saw the movie, movie on the list, I actually watched it and was <laughs> uh, reminding me of how much I love Billy Zane. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good movie. That's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Anyways, nice to meet you. a couple of movies that, that have Billy Zane on, on here, which will we'll, – We'll get to. I'm not going to give him any spoilers, but yeah, but mm-hmm. um, but we also have um, Musa's sister uh, Renee joining us. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> hey. yeah. It's great to have you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Hey. But then we also have last, but certainly not least, we have cousin Ryan. How's it going? What's up, everybody? Hey guys, uh, a lot of diversity here. But remember, Haas family, the agreement was I get to do this and I'll mow on Monday. Yes. Make sure everything's done. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only you, only you can say that. We I can't know. say that. I, know, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. awesome. <laughs> It'll be one of the fun things, all the inside jokes you guys might have, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. But yeah, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get into it. So Austin, do you want to uh, uh, break it down? Yeah. And let me know how it's going to work, and I'll bring up the the tournament bracket. Yeah, so how tournament fights works, uh, obviously we have a lot of newbies uh, this evening. I don't usually have to do a huge long spiel with the panels we usually have, uh, but but I'll just break it down for anybody watching, any of uh, Moose's extended family who might be watching even beyond this or anything like that. Uh, basically, uh, this, this is a... Uh, 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 essentially, we we took uh, Moose's submitted his uh, 64 favorite films of all time, and we put them. And the reason it's 64 is we've got them in a March Madness style uh, type bracket, like a tournament bracket. But uh, instead of having uh, seeds like the uh, March Madness has, you know, your typical one versus number 64, that sort of thing. Everything's randomized. Uh, Jordan runs through a randomizer. We just have completely random matchups. So we can literally have theoretically Moose's number one and number two favorite movies against each other in the first match. It, it actually could happen. So we, we have no idea what's coming. We just know his 64 movies are on there. 
how it works will go up and down the panel uh, each fight, and everybody will vote on which one uh, they'd like to see go through. About 20 to 30 seconds. We kind of keep it sort of rapid-fire style. Obviously, we'll give a little leeway to Moose to kind of uh, explain his movies and his picks, you know, in a little bit more detail. Um, but, yeah, the, the length of the show kind of depends on the panel. As Moose can attest to, we've had some short ones, <laughs> and we've had some real marathons on ones. our yeah. hands. So, uh, so really, it kind of depends on the panel and how how uh, rapid fire we keep it um but regardless of that we get all our thoughts out in these in these first you know uh, uh opening brackets those inner ones we really plow through and hit the turbo and and go like 10 seconds or less like super super fast uh but you'll see it's a lot of fun and uh yeah but we'll when the first one comes up we'll start at the bottom of the ladder down there with cousin ryan he'll go first and then on the next fight uh it'll move up and renee will be the first vote on the next one and it'll keep rotating and we do have uh Tiebreaker rules since we got uh, six uh, six panelists on this one. So if we encounter a tie, I'll kind of explain how that works. But we have a rotating tiebreaker vote, uh, sort of like how we rotate the order each time. So I'll explain that more if we get to it. And uh, that's just kind of how it works. And we just go till we get to a winner. I will say we have yet we have uh, yet to have the person's original number one win the entire tournament. And we've done about ten of these. Uh, so we, we have yet to see somebody's original number one favorite movie completely win the entire yeah. panel tournament. So I will say that. Uh, but Moose <laughs> Moose can, uh, if he'd like, you know, if anything in his top five or top ten gets eliminated, you know, maybe post after the fact, just be like, oh, no, there goes my number three. You know, there goes my number five, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing, if he'd like okay. to. So, uh, But he can keep that a secret till kind of afterwards. So, And uh, we'll we'll just go like that. So. Uh, unless yeah, there's anything I missed, I think that's about how, how we roll. Well, just to remind everyone, you do ha have to vote for every round. Even if you haven't seen either one, you just make up a reason. You can vote because one looks more interesting than the other. You can vote because you don't like one of them, because you like the poster. I mean, anything goes here. Like, we like to have fun. You can mm -hmm. vote uh, um, out of spite because one of the other movies beat out – one of the movies that you like or something like we love a good spite vote here in tournament fights so i mean <laughs> yeah I'm oh we've had many a spite vote on tournament fights yeah. yes <laughs> it's why yeah. i have the whiteboard against austin yeah right <laughs> right <laughs> most of those <laughs> movies but yes. of these movies are movies that we watched growing up though like oh, a mean? lot yeah. of times like yeah. well that's what makes these. that's what makes it tough you yeah, can have so, ones that you just love almost equally and you got to you got to decide oh, it's, right. it's, yeah. it's tough, be tough. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll reveal the first matchup. So, and these are totally randomized. So, we have Zombieland going up against Uncle Buck. <laughs> hey, <laughs> all right. Oh oh God. God. Yes. This is not a no brainer. I don't know why. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Cousin Ryan, you're up first. So, which one you want you want to vote oh, for? Here? Uncle Buck. John, John <laughs> can't do no wrong. I don't even yeah, need to explain. Right. Uncle Buck should just, just move on. I don't no, know. that's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can keep it as short as you want to. Yeah, if you, you want to get right to the point, you get right to the point. That's fine. Uh, uh, Renee, yeah. what do you think? Uh, when he flips the quarter and tells the lady to have a rat gnaw that thing off his face, I mean, <laughs> and then you've got the music playing after Uncle Buck, 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Tommy, what do you think? He can circumcise a gnat. With his hatchet, <laughs> Uncle Buck. <laughs> yeah. Well, Moose, uh, these are your movies, so it's going to be tough. What do you think? Uh, I mean, Zombieland snuck in there at the end. Uh, the Haas family has a huge love for her, the late great John Candy. So Woo! I think I think we agree. Uncle right? Buck. Yep, Uncle Buck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, Austin, what do you think? Yeah, both of these movies are in my top 128 that we'll be doing soon, so they might make an appearance there as well. I love these movies to pieces. Uh, but I have an Uncle Buck t-shirt with just his face with the drill holding up. I have a t-shirt of Uncle Buck. <laughs> That's how much yeah. I love this movie. Uh, yeah, I adore I adore John Candy to pieces, and this is one of his best roles ever. So, uh, yeah, I'll go Uncle Buck as well. Good yeah, yeah. Well, well uh, since Uncle Buck getting so much love here – <laughs> I'll give some love to uh, uh, Zombieland with good old Tallahassee and Columbus and stuff. It's a fun time. It's one of the best opening uh, uh, credit montages in, with a Metallica song in, in almost any movie. So it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'll give a little love, even though Uncle Buck will be going through. So, 
Yeah, or, yeah, it was almost a clean sweep for Uncle Buck, but uh, but still five yeah. to one. Uncle Buck is moving on past Zombieland, and we yeah. will uh, scroll <laughs> down and see what our next matchup is. Yeah, right. we have Tombstone. Yeah, so this time the first vote will go to Renee. So, Renee, um, yeah, what do you think? But thinking? you know, I don't, I'm going off of like better looking characters at this point. So, you've got like <laughs> Kilmer, Sam Elliott, Kurt Russell. So, I'm gonna go Tombstone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> sounds good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tommy, what do you think? Well, it's two Billy Zane movies. Just lying. keep that in mind. Uh, you know? It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Kurt Russell, my sister's not lying. He is the guy. Um, <laughs> and, but I did just watch The Phantom and was blown away about how, how much I forgot about it because I've only seen it twice. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that being said, I got to go with Tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Moose, what do you think here? What do you uh, I like The Phantom. Well, <laughs> vision. A little debate here, yeah. A little, uh, no, yeah, yeah, right. One is Tombstone, and the others is Phantom. Yeah, <laughs> point <laughs> each. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> all right, Goodness. all right. Uh, two and a half to a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll cave in and go Tombstone. I love the Phantom, Austin. You and I can't agree on this film <laughs> entirely. Um, but Tombstone yeah. does hold a special place. Kurt Russell is another fan favorite here at the uh, Haas House, so I'll give some love to Tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Austin, what do you think? Yeah, there's a there's a steakhouse near me called Binion's here that uh, that has like one of those TVs that shows a movie over and over again. They show Tombstone on a loop, <laughs> so and we always get seated like right near it, and uh, it seems to always be the time when uh, he's making a uh, Billy Bob Thornton, you know, telling him uh, you're just gonna stand there, and, you know, do anything, you're gonna stand there and bleed. You know, it's it's yeah. pretty good stuff. Uh, but uh, but yeah, come on, like I Moose knows my love of the Phantom. It was in my original top sixty four. It's come up a couple times. I love this movie to pieces. I've seen it probably a hundred times. I love it. So I, I can't help but vote for the Phantom. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the Phantom's fun, but uh, it's just for me, like, like cheesy fun. It's still fun, but, but I mean, uh, Tombstone, I actually watch uh, for the very first time to prep for this. I was very late to the, the party. I only watched it like two days ago for the first time. And, and man, like, was I missing out? Like this movie's awesome. Especially about Kilmer. Mm -hmm. He's was one of my favorites in the in, really a stat cast though when you have Bill Paxton and Sam Elliott in there and, and just the list just goes on and on and on and on. So yeah, I, I gotta go with Tombstone <clears throat> for sure. Okay, so Ryan. Well, I'm your Huckleberry. Like that Tombstone, hands down. <laughs> Sam Elliott is a true cowboy. Come on. Yep. <laughs> Real life cowboy. Yep. Well, <laughs> five to one once again this time for Tombstone. Yeah. All right. It's a shame it had to go out that early. Oh, though. man. I know, right? I know. I know. Damn. I'm sad. I won't put it on yes. the whiteboard, Austin. I won't. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see if it goes out that quickly in my tournament. It, it probably will because me and Moose are the only ones on the planet who love this movie as much as, <laughs> as, much as yeah. anybody does. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Yep. Three yep, million. But, but next up, we have the Dark Knight going up against Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so uh, this mm. time Tommy, you'll be up first. So okay, go for Sherlock it. Holmes mm. is a good movie, like both of those guys. But Dark Knight, baby, that's my vote. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Moose, what do you think? Yeah, Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. good. Okay. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, Austin. Uh, I'll also go Dark Knight, but only because I, I'm not terribly high on those uh, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movies. Uh, like I, I think they're they're fun, but I've I've never really gone back to them since I saw them in the theaters. I they were charming, but uh, I get why people like them. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just not as much for me. Guy, yeah. me and Guy Ritchie have a contemptuous relationship, so uh, I'll go Dark Knight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I was surprised this one yeah. actually made the list. I, Mark, we need to have a talk later. <laughs> <laughs> it only gets worse, Tom. It only gets worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of hit and miss when it comes to Guy Ritchie, too. There's some movies that I really love that, that he's done, but then other movies that I'm, I'm not high on. This one's kind of middle of the road for me. Like, I, I have fun 
with Sherlock Holmes. And, and both these movies have really great soundtracks, I will say that. So I can throw on, on, on either of these, and they're fun to listen to. But but yeah, I think I got to go with The Dark Knight, though. That movie just like uh, might might be the best Batman movie. I personally, I kind of like Batman Begins a little more, on, more on, on that side. But I mean, The Dark Knight is still great. That's not taking anything away from it. So yeah. yeah. But um, uh, cousin Ryan, cousin Ryan. So I know why this is on here. Haas has like a crush on RDJ, like I do. So I get <laughs> there. Yeah. But let's be real, Christian Bale. Uh, he's my Batman. So it's gonna be the Dark Knight for me. He's my Batman. He's my yep, Batman. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's the one. I mean, <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, Renee, what do, what do you think? Um. I'm just going to uh-huh. piss you all off and just say Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Perfect. You like to care less that. between the two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Hey, fair enough. Well, Dark Knight it is. All right. Dark enough. Knight. Yeah, we haven't had anything really close yet. It's been a lot of like five to ones and stuff. We'll see when we get to our first uh, ties or whatever. Yeah. If we, if we get a split. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Yeah, if you have a, if Old Brother Where Art Thou? Going up against Inglorious Bastards. Okay. Oh, two <laughs> musicals. All right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one of the that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's an inside, inside joke from a previous episode. I started making up on yeah. the spot Inglorious Bastards the musical. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, okay. versus Pitt right here. Yeah. <laughs> the handsomeness well, level is amazing. The <laughs> <laughs> first one. So what do you think? Uh, okay, so we had our confab, and uh, <laughs> we think in this lineup we're gonna go with Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, so, sounds good. Uh, uh, Austin, what, what do you think? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm also gonna go with Inglorious Bastards. Um, yeah, oh, Brother Arthur is 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 kind of fun, but again, me and the Coen Brothers also have a weird relationship to where I only like about a quarter of their movies. Maybe it's a very select few. Uh, this one's this one's okay, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with Tarantino on this one. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, I think I got to stick with, with Tarantino. Also, I think Oh Brother, We're Out There is fun, but it, but I mean, Glorious Bastards is awesome. That's one I go back to all the time. So, yeah, Glorious Bastards. Hmm. Cousin Ryan. Damn, we're in a tight spot. I, <laughs> Soggy Bottom Boys yeah. for me, guys. I Oh Brother, We're Out There. I I can watch that movie over and over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Renee. Yeah, Renee. Yeah, I'm with Cousin Ryan. Like, the Coen brothers to me are, like, kind of, like, top-notch. And so that movie just, like, brought me happiness and joy. And Glorious Bastards did not. So that's why I'm with <laughs> okay. yeah, right. Glorious Bastards is a little dark. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. But... Well, not my um, musical version when it'll be yeah, out right. soon. Yeah, right. <laughs> much, much more lighthearted. Yeah, <laughs> All right. yeah. Tommy? Um, I agree with my sister that it, oh brother, we're out there, we're out, whatever, however you say it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It did bring me yeah. joy, and those are the movies I only watch nowadays. But uh, that being said, uh, I might have to turn in my man card if I didn't go with Inglorious Bastards. It was Sorry, close. Nay. We, we, all, we almost time. had our first tie. Very No, almost, but Inglorious Bastards just took it to the last second with Tommy. So yeah. we almost had a tie. I thought yeah, we were going to have one. All yeah. right. <laughs> we're close, but well, next we have Ghostbusters Afterlife going up against Casino Royale. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, so awesome. yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife I, I very much enjoyed, uh, but I've only seen it the one time so far. I haven't had a chance to pop in my, my 4K and, and give it a rewatch. Um, but yeah, Casino Royale is, is awesome. I, I I love that movie from the opening parkour stuff, you know, all the way through. Even the they even make card playing exciting in this movie, which is very hard to do in a movie. Very good stuff. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go with the uh, yeah. I love Craig uh, Casino Royale. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ghostbusters Afterlife I actually saw three times in theaters just because when it came out, there wasn't really a lot of other movies playing at the time, and uh, at least on a, a lot of other great ones, and and. and I didn't have a lot going on at the time, so I just ended up going to see it with different people who, who hadn't seen it yet. I just find someone who hadn't seen it. I'm like, oh, you haven't seen it? All right, we're going to the, the movies. Let's go see it. But, but I mean, I'm a huge James Bond fan. I've been doing a a, a watch of 
of all the James Bond movies, I just started. I've only gotten through the first two, but the plan is, is to watch them all in in chronological order. And uh, Daniel Craig might wow. be my favorite Bond. I haven't, I haven't decided it between uh, uh, Sean Connery and Daniel Craig between those two, but but I got to go with Casino Royale here. I think so. Yeah, uh, cousin Ryan. Uh, you know, I love both these movies a lot. Uh, Casino Royale is such a great movie. You know, I read even Bond. But I will say I tried the Vesper from that movie and it sucked. So just just in that, I don't like that movie. But uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, it redeemed the entire series, the franchise. And it was just a great cast and a great way to send off to Egon. I, Ghostbusters Afterlife for me is right here. Just right here. Yeah. Yeah, they they gave it uh, some pretty great respect to Egon, so I like what they did there. Yeah, <laughs> but but uh, Renee, what do you think? Oh, mine, mine's purely like emotional. Like Ghost, we grew up with Ghostbusters, and we literally went as an entire family to see this movie, uh. and like crying and stuff. So I really don't care about Daniel Craig as Bond. So <laughs> I'd rather have him as like the Knives Out character. So let, we're gonna go with Ghostbusters Whoa. Afterlife. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds yeah. good. Uh, Tell me. Yeah, I agree with uh, Casino Royale. The opening scene. I love James Bond. Something that my dad and I used to watch back when Roger Moore was James Bond, when mm-hmm. Sean Connery was James Bond. I've seen them all. So every single one of them. And but damn it, it's an emotional decision, like my sister said. Yeah. <laughs> if I go against Ghostbusters. I'm not a hoss, so Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, uh, Moose, what do you think? Uh, so we did go. The entire Haas family went to go see uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife um, together. And I was I was an SOB and went a couple of days before and saw it and like, insisted <laughs> that the whole family went uh and saw it together and there was not a dry hoss eye in the house you will never uh hear a hoss vote against the ghostbusters so <laughs> ghostbusters afterlife you unanimous yeah right yep. so, Sean yeah sean is the best game mom oh yeah 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 <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the sound your mother makes that Hot sounds tape. right yep <laughs> yeah but but yeah well the the Haas family wins out this time, so it's Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> all right. <laughs> By the way, I guess I just say all this, all this, ter- all this throwing around the word Haas. Like, I don't know if you know, there's a wrestling term for Haas. Uh, I don't know if you guys know are familiar with this. Like, it, there, there's a thing called a Haas battle, which is like a, a Haas and wrestling is like a big, you know, beefy, like big, beefy, strong, powerful dudes. You know, that the like big bulls and like <laughs> a, if you have a Haas battle in wrestling, it's like two big giant dudes <laughs> just plowing into each other. You know, like they call it a Haas fight. So I can only imagine like, every time you say like there's a Haas family. fight. It's a wrestling yeah. thing, yeah. I mean, Sounds yeah. accurate for this family. Sound, they're huge. They're, <laughs> all, they're all huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. dudes yeah, right. slamming into each other, I'm in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds accurate with how tall Moose is. I figured that, that it must run in the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, a, yeah, dude, yeah. he's the tallest one out of all of us. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> right. And yeah, the but, beefiest. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, up next, though, we have Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. Against oh. Tommy Boy. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, some of these first round yeah. matchups, they're not easy. So. I know. Uh-huh. I, do, do, do you all regret being on the show yet? Is it going to be too stressful? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you, it's going to be a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this right, is, yeah, a, this is a, a weekly occurrence here on the Movie Hero Network. <laughs> so, yeah, with these decisions. All right. Well, uh, Jordan, yeah. you're up first on this one. So, man, like, well, part of me just really wants to vote for Tommy Boy because. Like uh, Chris Farley holds a special place in my heart because uh, one of my best friends who uh, uh, passed away a few years back, he was a diehard uh, uh, Chris Farley a fan. Like we would watch Chris Farley everything all day long, all the time. We would quote it and, and everything. So we watched this movie yes. on, a, on a loop so many times. But but I mean, Lord of the Rings is just Lord of the Rings. Like like that trilogy is a near masterpiece in my mind. Like it, yeah. like this movie is in my top ten movies of all time. Tommy Boy is in my my top sixty four, but but not not quite the the top ten like Lord of the Rings is. So I gotta go with Lord of the Rings. So, but cousin Ryan, cousin Ryan, mm-hmm. but Richard, 
like come on like it's, it's tommy boy, <laughs> guys it's tommy boy you know i've been listening yeah. and i know i know who's a sister here is gonna agree with me but we've been listening to fly on the wall and david spade talks about this movie and it makes me love this movie more and more and more i hear about it i watch it i've watched it twice this week already um the tommy boy because lord of the rings is great books are better but tommy boy <laughs> is just it, yeah. it's classic that'll live forever yeah flying the wall it's a fun podcast I listen to that one too so so yeah but but uh renee what do you think um okay like lord of the rings like we've watched like all of them like consecutively right but <laughs> brian's right like tommy boy is like to me like classic snl like gold you know you put those yeah. two guys together mm -hmm. to me it's just like comedy gold so um tommy boy that's gonna be it yeah, and yeah. We, we quote so many lines even like to this day uh, from there mm -hmm. you know so i had tommy boy yeah well tommy i'm sure you were named after this movie right <laughs> so that, was. Was. <laughs> that scene where yeah. he's like upside down <laughs> taking a bong rip and like falls through the table or something like that the mm -hmm. opening scene anyways that's that is yeah. me. um <laughs> but <laughs> that being said i know i mean lord of the rings i was like in the move in line for the movie you know a, two weeks before the movie came out at the movie theater but I can't. I like it's kind of like Ghostbusters. I got to go with Tommy Boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Moose, yeah, what do you think? What you thinking? <laughs> I think uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, my wife and I watched those consecutive one day, and it was twelve hours, and it was awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. was fun but hours, uh, Tommy Boy, likey wingy. So. Rotary <laughs> 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 yeah. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah right. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Tommy Boy too. Um, the Lord, I agreed. Like the Lord of the Rings is awesome. Yeah, really, is. I went into the Fellowship of the Ring kicking and screaming, not wanting to see this <laughs> stupid movie. And then, like Tommy, waited outside in the rain for the next movie, and then waited outside in the rain for the next movie after that. Uh, there's still another Lord of the Rings on this list, so that'll get a chance. But we'll go Tommy Boy here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just checking the yeah. end line uh, on the rotary career. Uh, I'm retired. <laughs> 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 yeah, classic lines. <laughs> yeah. I'm retired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, Austin. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I've interrupted happy time. They catch a. Did I, I catch a niner in there somewhere? Yeah, I, love, yeah. I love David Spade in that movie. I'm, I'm a total, I, 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 I'm a total sarcastic ass. So I love, I love David Spade in that movie too. Like I, I relate to him. Just, uh, but yeah, their chemistry is great. And I'm not a really big Lord of the Rings fan. Like I like the movies, but I don't, I don't love them. So uh, I'll go yeah. with Tommy Boy. Mm. Yeah, it's not so much here or here, but right, here. right, right here. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not so much here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, Tommy Boy for the win. Yeah. Beating out Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yeah, yeah, baby. Oh. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's sweet. I know. Yeah. Some director is rolling over in his grave right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But up next, we have The Sting. Oh. Going up. Yeah. I guess the Grand <gasps> Budapest Hotel. Oh. There. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. we even got the dogs excited, right? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, cousin Ryan, you're up first, so what do you think? Uh, Grand Budapest Hotel for me, the cast just alone is just incredible, star studded, and you know the new Flash from Spider Man has a has a good role in it. So I'm yeah. I'm all for Grand Budapest. Yeah, yeah, uh, sounds good. Renee, mm -hmm. what do you think? This is so hard for me. Okay. I mean, not like tragically hard, but um, yeah. <laughs> I love Grand Budapest Hotel. I love it. Um, it's Wes Anderson, right? Am I wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Correct. He's like one of my favorites. But there, I feel like there's nothing better than like the Robert Redford, like Paul Newman, like togetherness yeah. back in the yeah. day. So I'm going to go with the sting. <gasps> I'm going to mute myself yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Tommy, what do you think? <laughs> and I don't know if anybody in my family members know this or not, but The Sting is my number one favorite movie on Earth. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, That's period. Awesome. I love that movie. I watched it 
when I was young mm-hmm. and was like, holy crap, this is the best movie ever. And <laughs> any other crook, grifter type movie is off that one, I think. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, yeah. uh, that one, I'm going to pick The Sting and The Grand Budapest Hotel for record. I didn't really like it. Uh, mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're well, dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Moose, what do you think? The Grand Budapest Hotel is my favorite Wes Anderson movie. Uh, and I'm sure Renee and I could sit and argue a couple of uh, nominations that she may have. Uh, but it is my favorite of his work. That being said, we were just talking about this. And uh, nostalgia pays off when it comes to the sting. Uh, gotta go with the sting. Yep, got to go with the sting. So Yeah. Boom. Do it. Got you, Marky. Sounds good. You, yeah. <laughs> well, Austin, uh, what do you think? Want to know what my favorite Wes Anderson movie is? None of them. I don't like Wes Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I've seen them. I don't like them. Uh, yeah. I keep waiting for the one that turns the corner. You know what my favorite <laughs> Wes Anderson movie is for real? The SNL parody, the horror parody, The Midnight Coterie of Sinister Intruders. That's the best yeah, right? Wes Anderson movie. <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> if you haven't seen it, look it up. It's really funny. Uh, the Sting, on the other hand, um, I just actually watched The Sting for the first time probably like four or five months ago for one of the shows we were doing. I, it was like a blind spot for me for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, I really liked it. I, I had a good time with it. I don't know why I hadn't seen it. I love Paul Newman, so it yeah, seemed like yeah. a given. Uh, but I just missed it, and uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So I'll go with the sting pretty easily on this one. Yeah, I'm also not a, a big fan of my uh, my uncle Wes uh, Wes Anderson for me <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because yeah, his movies just just don't really appeal to me. Just a lot of kind of weird filming choices, acting choices, a lot of right angles, a lot of kind of interesting color schemes, that kind of stuff. But I mean, they're for a certain crowd, so like I understand why people love him, but but it's not for me. So. But, the, but I'm a huge fan of the Sting. I also just saw it for the first time about four or five months ago, and the movie really blew me away. Yeah, it's just old school cool just seeing Paul Newman teaming up with, with Robert Redford and just kind of going toe-to-toe like that. And, and so, yeah, I got to go with the Sting for sure. So All right. Well, it's five to one for the Sting on this one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Moving on. Okay. All right. Well, up next, we have True Grit going up against Snatch. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Renee. Right. Renee. Uh, Renee. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Jeff Bridges. Snatch was like, I felt like I was like trying to figure out another language. So I'm going to go with True Grit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Tommy, what do you think? Um, is Snatch Guy Ritchie? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the only Guy Ritchie movie that I absolutely love. I love Snatch so much. It's such an awesome movie. I've seen it like 30 friggin' times. Snatch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Moose, what do you think? I think Tommy is the one who actually introduced me to Snatch because you were watching it. Like two yeah. consecutive days. Yeah, no, row. we VHS with Snatch. Okay, I had the VHS. We reround that friggin' movie manually. Right? We had to push a button on the friggin' VCR for Christ's sake. All right. yep. Sorry, yeah. Mark. You like Grit or uh, either one? I like both of them. I like Bridges and Grit, but uh, I like Snatch too. So I think uh, I think. True Grit is probably my favorite Coen Brothers movie. Um, I love Snatch too. Probably my favorite Guy Ritchie movie, but we're gonna go with True Grit. Gotta give it to the dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds dude. good. Uh, uh, Austin, what do you think? Well, I I still have a contemptuous relish, relationship with Guy Ritchie even to this round. Uh, I wanna <laughs> I wanna <laughs> like his movies more than I like his movies. Like I I I, I like some of his style, some of his things, but. Um, you know, it, it's like uh, there's always just something missing for me. Um, True Grit uh, holds a special place in my heart, not only because I'm, I'm a big Western fan, but uh, this was the same year my mom and I went and saw all the Best Picture nominees that year, and so we saw True Grit together, and it's just a nice memory we have that we still share. So, uh, and we just had a really good time with it. So, I, I got to go with True Grit, and it's probably my. Again, yeah, probably my favorite Coen Brothers movie just because it might be the most straightforward Coen Brothers movie. You know, it's just like a straightforward yeah. Western. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, uh, like you know, sue me for, for not loving the Coen Brothers. But, uh, but, yeah, I'll go with True Grit. 
Didn't the Coens do Me, yeah. Myself, and Irene? I can't or, remember if they did or not. Anyway, no, Me, Myself, and Irene was uh, no somebody else. Not the yeah, Coen yeah, brothers. Yeah. It's the uh, same guys who did Dumb and Dumb. Barely, barely. Oh yeah, barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fairly, but strike that. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll let that out in post. It's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, but <laughs> but. <laughs> But for me, like this is an interesting matchup. These are both movies I kind of got to watch with subtitles on that I can't understand half of what the characters are even saying. Like Snatch, it's like their British accents uh, uh, so thick, like I can't really understand what they're saying. And then in True Grit, you have your Rooster Cogburn talking about going out to the Indian territory to find an old Tom Cheney or whatever. It's just like, yeah. like an, an Austin. Uh, uh, Rooster Cogburn was one that I was thinking maybe you, you might like dig up some impression. <laughs> <laughs> the one I can think of is yeah. when she wakes yeah. him up, he's just like, What you want, girl? Don't give me a drink over there. I'm trying yeah, to go back yeah. to sleep over here. You gotta, I gotta <laughs> act like you have marbles in the side of your mouth. I'm like, Try to half open your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, a true grit was a movie that. That like I went in the first time, kind of with a bad attitude. I went with with a friend who was a big fan of the original with, uh, and um, with uh, John Wayne and and I uh, he didn't really like it, and it kind of sullied my opinion of it. So actually, uh, this morning I decided because I had some extra free time that I was going to give it a rewatch, and I enjoyed it a lot more. I, I'm not going to say that I love it just because. Uh, Jeff Bridges' character just kind of just grating on me. It just like he's just it's just hard to really listen to for so long. He's just telling all these stories. Well, my second wife, she left me for a coal miner or like whatever. Like all these stories that that he's telling the the uh, girl. But I'm a huge Haley Steinfeld fan though. I love her and, and Matt Matt Damon as Labeef too. He's fun. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and uh, uh, Snatch. It's a cool character. It's not really one I go back to. I mean, and probably if you put them both in front of me, I'd probably watch True Grit. So I'll vote True Grit here. So, Ryan, because of Ryan, uh, you know I'm a huge fan of the original True Grit, and so uh, I was a big fan of this mainly because Haley Steinfeld for me was a better Matty Ross than the original yeah. and less annoying in my mm-hmm. opinion. <laughs> um, yeah, but Snatch, yeah, it's a subtitle type thing. I mean, I get it, but I. I would rather watch True Grit again and again than watch Snatch. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go True Grit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, True Grit's gonna move forward. Yeah, True Grit it is. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So up next we have Major League <laughs> going up against Ghostbusters. Ooh, oh, that, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure we don't need to vote on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible match. <laughs> Tommy, well, you get to go Tommy. first. You want to vote? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. No, I mean, nice. Major League, I'm a big, I love sports, love baseball. Major League has a freaking special place in my heart. Uh, I just want to quote every line from it right now for you guys. <laughs> yeah. But in essence of time, I guess <laughs> Ghostbusters, Haas, AO, you know, I, mean, I think we made that connection earlier. Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Well, Moose, I'm pretty sure where you're going to go here, but but what do you think? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do, Mark? It's going to be Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it'll be Ghostbusters, but I do want to quote my favorite line from Major League, and that's when Lou Brown gets the call to coach the Indians, and he's working at the tire shop, and they're like, do you want to coach, coach the Indians? He's like, I don't know. I got a guy on the other line interested in some white walls. I got to call you back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Ghostbusters. Come on, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Austin? <laughs> yeah, no. I uh, Major League is fun, um, but, you know, top Ghostbusters is in my top 64. So, yeah, it's a, it's an easy one for this one. It's going to be Ghostbusters. Yeah, like Major League, actually, like I like it more every time that I watch it. I find new things that I love it about it, especially like my favorite character is is uh, uh, Dennis Haysbert's character. He's an all-state guy, but in the uh, Major League, you hardly even recognize him. He's this voodoo guy that's like doing some kind of voodoo Pedro in the locker Serrano. room and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So he's a lot of fun. And then, of course, you have Bob Euchre as like one of the, the like, like best uh, – 
color commentary guys around. So, uh, but uh, but Ghostbusters though, yeah, that's in my top two four as well. So yeah, and, and it's just iconic. So yeah, I gotta go with Ghostbusters. It should have been Major League What's versus that? Grand Budapest Hotel. That's what <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sorry if I offended anybody. <laughs> uh, Charlie Sheen, Wild Thing. Oh, I loved. I love this movie. Baseball is in my blood. It's in my heart. I I love it. But you are Mexican. I know. <laughs> I got drafted a lot higher. Um, <laughs> but you know, the one thing. So the Hosses, yeah, they all have seen Ghostbusters together together throughout their whole lives. The one thing Haas and I share, Moose and oh, I. Oh, I think we lost Ryan. No. <laughs> no, he's here with us. Okay. Uh, so Moose and I, when we were kids, we actually dressed up as Ghostbusters for Halloween. We had the proton packs. We had the catcher. We were Ghostbusters. So for me, Ghostbusters <laughs> with anything that it comes up against today, just about. So Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, raise your hand if you've ever been a Ghostbuster for Halloween, because I've done it too. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have. Yep. No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I, I was too busy being a uh, telling my parents I wanted to be a garbage dump and wearing a uh, a plastic thing over myself with garbage tape to it with a road <laughs> sign around my neck. So <laughs> that's a I true story. Yeah, yeah. I get a point for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Renee, what do you think? Um, oh, no, uh, oh yeah, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't even remember Major League, so clearly. No, <laughs> it's it's right. like a family favorite. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, it's going to be a sweep for Ghostbusters. Might be a heavy hitter tonight. Heavy contender. We'll yep, see. Yep. Uh, a heavy hitter uh, now. Right. Until these movies start going up against each other, then we'll see. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have Captain America, the Winter Soldier. But I'm going to Eddie the Eagle. All right. Mm. Cat versus Wolverine, kind of. <laughs> so, mm. um, so, who's up first? Uh, Moose is up first. Yeah, yeah, Moose up first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whew. Um, I don't know. What do you I don't think I've ever seen Eddie the Eagle. But I've seen Captain America and like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, that's logic. <laughs> if you have not seen Eddie the Eagle, you should watch Eddie the Eagle. It will make you feel so much better. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It is such a like underdog story, like just in its purest form. But it's Captain America the Winter Soldier, and that movie completely changed the MCU. So Captain America the Winter Soldier, we both like. We're going to move. That'll be our vote. Yeah. <laughs> well, Austin, what do you think? Yeah, Ed of the Eagle is, is enjoyable, uh, very much so. I, I, it's it's a fun movie. We we talked about it on our uh, our sports series. You know, it, it's it's good. You know, I think it was in our top ten for winter sports movies. Um, yeah. But yeah, for me, Winter Soldier is still uh, even after all the MCU movies, like top three or four MCU movies for me. Like I still really really <laughs> like that movie. Really really solid. So uh, I'll go uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh um, Eddie the Eagle is great. Like I actually love Eddie the Eagle. It's one that that might be just outside my top sixty-four, but it'll make my my top one twenty-eight when we we do that one. So, uh, but uh, Captain America: The The Winter Soldier, yeah, that's in my top twenty movies of, of all time. Like it's just great. We have another show called Tear Ranker Fights, and at one of the scenes, it's a battle between Cap and, and uh, Bucky in the intro for that because I love that mm. this movie so much and. And yeah, I've I've met pretty much the the entire cast ex, except for uh, uh, Samuel Jackson and Scarlett Johansson. But I but I met met Cap, I met Bucky, I met Falcon, I met Peggy Carter, like like all those at a Comic Con. So that was really cool. So so yeah, I gotta go with uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Yeah, with cousin Ryan. Right. So I know I said this on the last one we did when it was the DC Marvel and Captain America Winter Soldier was not one of my favorites. It was one of my least favorites of the Marvel world. Hmm. Um, Eddie the Eagle. I, I watched it a couple months ago for the first time and then watched it again after Moose sent out this list to me and it, it hits the same again and again. I mean, you got Eggsy and Wolverine in there. You got two great actors uh, yeah. doing something that people wouldn't have known about and i think my favorite thing about that movie is they make a dig about the jamaican bobsled team in there so that kind of sealed <laughs> yeah. it for me. like you know what this movie's awesome so eddie the eagle for me on this one 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. <clears throat> Renee, what do you think? Um, does Eddie the Eagle have Chris Evans in a really tight suit? America. <laughs> no, okay. no. Then it's Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Can't argue there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, Tommy, what do you think? Does Eddie the Eagle have Scarlett Johansson in a tight suit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Winter Soldier, please. That was a great. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. It is. So. Mm -hmm. All right. But the next we have Coming to America versus Raiders of the Lost Ark. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Damn. So Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a good solid matchup. Uh, I, I do enjoy coming to America, but um, yeah, all, all three of the Indiana Jones movies, and yes, I said three Indiana Jones movies yeah. are in my top sixty four. <laughs> um, yeah, all three of them are, are in my top sixty four. Watched them over and over again as a kid on v, on VHS. So yeah, I have immense love for that series. Uh, so yeah, I have to go Raiders on this one, and it's called. Raiders of the Lost Ark, not Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Let's stop this yep. nonsense already. It's not what it was yep, called yep. when it came out. Stop this retroactive shit. I hate this. Yep, yep. <laughs> not in my timeline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not in my timeline. I got timeline, the poster no that, that <laughs> only says Raiders. It doesn't say Indiana Jones. It doesn't say anything. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, coming to America, that's fine for me. Like, it's, it's, a, it's fun to watch, but, but like, it's, it's no Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark is my favorite Indiana Jones movie. It's another one probably in my top 64. Like these, these movies rock, and especially Raiders of the, the Lost Ark. Like it's so I, iconic. Like when everyone thinks of Indiana you know, Jones, you think of the hat and the whip, but you also think of that iconic scene with the boulder that's rolling after him too. They have a whole ride at, at Disneyland that's based on that. So yeah, I got to go with Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, but Cousin Ryan? Uh <laughs> I, it's gonna be Raiders of the Lost Ark for me. I love coming to America. I think it's hilarious, but Raiders of the Lost Ark is just just a transcending movie. It was it was amazing for when it came out at its time, and it you know it's just that movie you can watch when it's on TV. I just watched it like two days ago. It was just on TV, and I just turned it on. So <laughs> yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, Renee, what do you um, think? I'm going to say Coming to America because you all said Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can vote for any reason here. So. So yeah, you can vote for any reason you want. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, valid <laughs> reason. Yep. Tommy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Tommy. Um, I mean, Coming to America was my first pair of black boobies. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if I, yeah, I mean, the royal, the royal penis is the Lost clean. Ark. Yeah, <laughs> the royal penis is clean. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like you guys. All right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. Uh, that may be the first time they're hearing that. Um, but good God, look at Harrison Ford right there. Come on, look yeah, at him in that picture. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that that movie and that, like you said, the first three. We won't even mention the other one with that other dude. What are you talking but, about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Boof, the yeah. boof. Um, anyways, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark is my vote. Yeah. Well, Moose, what do you think? Uh, well, we love coming to America. Um, we pretty quickly agreed that Raiders of the Lost Ark deserves to move forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark don't want to leave until it's over. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Right, you see every second of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. Raiders, it is. All, All right. right. So up next we have the Great Outdoors going up against Avengers: Infinity War. All right. Infinity War. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Jordan, you're up first. Ooh, so I'm up first. So, man, like. The Great Outdoors are going up against almost anything else. I would vote for because I do love this movie. Like. Like it's so much fun, and and like it's just like one of those classic comedies that like they just don't really make comedies like that anymore. That's just like like that are just I don't know that they just like you get all the nostalgia in the field, but you have great humor and just like the, the like legendary actors uh, Dan Aykroyd and John Candy, you know. So, but but I mean, Avengers Infinity War is just like 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 so so much fun to see all of these different heroes team up together it's like something from my my like wildest childhood dreams i never thought that i'd see something like that i grew up reading comic books and 
yeah, like it, it's just amazing to see them all on, on screen. And they, they did a really solid job. When I first saw it, like I won't, won't tell the long version. I'll, I'll keep it quick here. But but when I first saw it, I had kind of a, a visceral re- reaction uh, at the ending. And I thought there was kind of a cop-out because I knew the characters were coming back and all that. So on, on subsequent rewatches, though, I really uh, – Gained an appreciation for uh, for Infinity War. I learned to love it. So yeah, I I will vote for Infinity War. But Jordan's the kind of guy where he watches Kill Bill Volume One. He goes, "She hasn't killed Bill yet." Boo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not quite, but yeah. Uh, uh, Cousin Ryan, uh, you know this is a hard one for me because I'm uh, Avengers Infinity War. I love it, but it's John Candy. It's Dan Aykroyd. It's the Great Outdoors. It's a hilarious movie nonstop. So uh, I'm gonna vote Great Outdoors. Great Outdoors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Mama yep, Hoff see. knows what's going on. Yep. Bob's chiming exactly. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, Doesn't Avengers, but no one Great Outdoors. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> oh, yeah. It is true. There you go. But, you got the full Hoss effect Renee? tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. What do you think? Mark has mom, is mom having some wine? Is she at that? <laughs> I believe it's a bottle now. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy. Um, I mean, it's a great outdoors for me. Where it just is like that movie makes me smile. Remember when that when he was like Big Bear, Big Bear chasing me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so it's great outdoors. It's like every family yeah. seems to have a Dan Aykroyd that, like, someone that just annoys the hell out of you, and you're trying to avoid, you know. So yeah, <laughs> but 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 uh, uh, Tommy, what, what do you think? Um, yes. Um, again, that's that's a tough one right there. Am I muted? No. Sorry. Nope. Um, yeah. That's a tough one. But the Great Outdoors is that family movie where, like my sister said. Suck my wake. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, the old 96er, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, like, hey, great outdoors. Yeah, yeah. Well, Moose. <laughs> so this, this might be the toughest one for Papa Haas and I to decide here. Um, it's not hard so. for dad. It's hard for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll, I'll tell the story before we make our decision. Uh I saw Avengers Infinity War the weekend it came out in Edinburgh. Uh, mm. And there is a oh, wow. scene uh, there is a scene that takes place be- with the Vision and the Scarlet Witch in Edinburgh. And mm. when Edinburgh popped up on the screen, there must have been 300 Scotsmen in the theater who stood up and started screaming and yelling and cheering. It was <laughs> yeah. one of the cooler experiences. That's awesome. <laughs> And uh, I love Avengers Infinity War. There is another Avengers movies on this list that I think I love a little bit more. The Great Outdoors is the story of Haas vacationing with relatives. My family. family. (laughs) It's home. It it does hit home. The Great Outdoors. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) On the count of three, who's Dan Aykroyd? Haas family. Just say it out loud. One, (laughs) two, three. Uncle Dieter. Yeah. We all thought it when you said it too. So, yeah. Well, Austin, what do you think? I, I mean, just put through great out. I would have voted for Infinity War just because it's my number one MCU movie. I, I love, I love Thanos and 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 the whole dynamic and all that. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, people know my my love of Infinity War, my not so love of Endgame. <laughs> so yeah. it's it's a weird thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but I need I need to revisit Great Out Great Outdoors. It's been a long time since I watched it, but uh, I mean, I, I love John Candy. It's just not one I've gone back to in a while. But I'm due for a rewatch, so uh, I will try to do that very soon. Yeah. yeah. Well, the great outdoors. But, uh, great outdoors. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it could be considered a, a bit of an upset, maybe. But uh, yeah. well, uh, Infinity That's War right. has, I believe, won two of our tournaments. It, it, it won yeah. the uh, comic book sort of uh, in universe tournament, and then it won another tournament about a week or two ago. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's it's been always a heavy favorite. Yep, yeah. Yeah. But we have the Empire yeah, Strikes Back. Going up against mm-hmm. Ocean's Thirteen. Okay. Oh, she's 13. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have that talk right. after before, this. One. Yeah. Okay. Right. So before Ryan? we go, this is the worst let one. Let me just explain. <laughs> He's like, see, how, what had happened was. <laughs> yeah, what had so happened, yeah. I, I love all of these Oceans movies. Even Oceans 8 is great. I love all of them. Uh, I just, 
you know, I can't, I don't want to stack up the entire thing with Ocean's movies. So I went right. with the one that I thought was the most fun, which is Ocean's 13. It, Obviously, yeah, yeah, first time we'll probably win, but solid logic. <laughs> <laughs> Just boo. Just boo. Yeah, um, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let right. alone the worst. Ocean's 13 movie and that's the worst Ocean's movie and that's even considering eight but I Empire Strike Back one of the best Star Wars movies hands down um and it's it's Ocean's 13 like come on Haas you're better than that so let's move the <laughs> back forward. let's go yeah <laughs> oh, wait which specific Haas are you talking about yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the whoever decided to choose this one today <laughs> Renee. Renee. I kind of don't care about these. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yep. Um, but I, I mean, um, uh, my daughter's obsessed with Star Wars, so I'm just going to say Star Wars. It's going to yeah. be yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Correct. Empire Strikes Back for yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the correct answer, yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, Tommy, what do you think? Um, I do love me uh, this, the thievery movies, and this thing is my favorite movie, so I love that whole uh, grifter and, you know, look right, and but, you know, somebody's stealing from me on the left, all that kind of stuff, but Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. <laughs> that was well, terrible, most, sorry. Zigged and zagged. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the Empire Strikes Back. We're going to vote for that. So. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Austin. Yeah, it's it's Empire. I, I've seen all the Ocean's movies. I mean, they're 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 fun for what they are. Uh, those newer ones are certainly better than the old Frank Sinatra one. That one is boring. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's it's very dull. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got it's an easy Empire from this one. Yeah, this one's pretty easy too. I don't think Ocean Thirteen is the the worst Ocean movie. Actually, I think that Ocean's Twelve or maybe. There's still an art, and I feel like it gets a little meta and got some some weird tones to it. But but um, but uh, Ocean's Thirteen, it's a fun movie. But I mean, it is no Empire, so Empire Strikes Back for sure. It's easy. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yep, all right. Empire it is. It's gonna be an Empire right. sweep. All right. Yeah. But up next we have Guardians of the Galaxy up against the Darkest Hour. Darkest okay. Hour. All right. Yeah. So, All right. Well, okay. uh, well, start, start with Renee on this one. Yep. Okay. Next to Ghostbusters, Guardians of the Galaxy is my like favorite movie. So it goes Ghostbusters oh. and Guardians of the Galaxy. I <laughs> love the characters in it, the humor. I love I love Chris Pratt. I mean, who doesn't? It's just the music. It's just like all good. Yeah. Like volume one. Yep. Super, super sad in. I, it's just not as fun. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Uh, uh, Tommy, what do you think? Um, pretty much my sister's description is exactly mine. It's, <laughs> I love that movie so much. It's one of, in my top three Marvel movies. So that one is awesome because it brings me much joy. Yeah. Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Moose, uh, what are you going to go for? Uh, I mean, Gary Oldman's performance as Winston Churchill is one of the reasons why I like this movie so much. Um, the last, like, 30 minutes of this movie is super inspiring, but the other 90 minutes of it is super depressing. Um, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy is... Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it was funny when this movie was coming out. I had a very, very hard time convincing my wife and my friend Steve to go see this movie. I showed them the trailer. I bought tickets and I showed them the trailer and they were like, wait, you're going to take us to a movie with a talking tree and a raccoon. I was like, it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. they both like within the first five minutes of Peter Quill dancing around Morag to come and get your love. Like both of them <laughs> at their own time turned over and whispered in my ear, this is going to be a good movie. This movie is so <laughs> yeah. great. The music is so great. The humor hits. Guardians of the Galaxy all the way. Yep, yep. Well, Austin, 
What do you think? Um, yeah, I mean that Emil Hirsch movie was like okay when I saw it. That that you know they're shooting the Ghostbusters proton. Oh, we're talking about oh, Darkest yeah. Hour. Yeah. Not the Darkest, Darkest Hour. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. The, not the Darkest <laughs> Hour. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh, different movie. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought maybe it was Invisible. I was like, I was like really? That's a that's a, that's a pretty bad movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I'll give you a point uh, yeah, Darkest that. Hour. Yeah, no, Darkest <laughs> Hour is okay. I, yeah, I, I liked it. Um, it makes a good companion piece with uh, Dunkirk, actually, if you want yeah. to double feature those. Um, so, yeah, kind of you want to get, like, more political side of Dunkirk, you know. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's good. But, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, like you said, uh, I, I went in with the same mindset. And pretty much from the first five minutes when he's dancing to come and get your love, you're, you're all in. So, uh, yeah, I'll go Guardians as well. Yeah. I watched Darkest Hour for the first time uh, to – to prep for this episode just yesterday and and uh that performance like like that is a powerhouse performance from gary oldman though like like he really like like just brings winston churchill uh to life and he shows like the the like, anger and the frustration but he shows the, the like uh, the happy times you see like even like a little bit of heart to it and then some humor too it actually shows that he did have a little bit of a sense of humor too so as far as as a great performance i think that it's a it's a, a masterful performance but i mean guardians of the galaxy is just like just way too much fun like it's just fun from beginning to end it's just a great like space adventure movie great team up movie i mean everyone uh, uh has a favorite character my favorite character is probably drax but i mean i love all of them uh so yeah i am gonna go with guardians but um, uh, so I just got to say this first. Gary Oldman deserves all the awards all the time. This yeah, guy is an actor across everything time. he's done. Uh, the Batman, Sirius Black, all that fun stuff. But Guardians of the Galaxy, I no one else could play Star Lord. Peter Quill, a comic book reading. You just put him in that role. It was perfect fit. Uh, it fit perfectly with the world. And I have other stories. So I know I'm gonna have to battle this out for the next round. But I'm gonna save my stories for this one. But the Guardians of the Galaxy needs to move forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah but... It's a sweet for Guardians. Yeah. Just look at the two covers. I mean, yeah. yeah. Right. What would you rather watch? Yeah, yeah. Make a reason yeah right. <laughs> yeah. Just a fun team up of all these cool characters, or like grumpy right. old man smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, my 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 dad might see those two posters and say uh, "Darkest Hour" easy, but you know that's yeah, yeah. Hour, you know. good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. My dad too. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm probably but, your dad. Yes. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, yeah. Shoot. But that's we got Step Brothers going to be the bridesmaids. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Here we go. This is a good one. So all right, so two sort of Apatow-ish productions, yeah, uh, going up against yeah. each other. All right, Tommy, you're up first. Movie. What do you got? Uh, Bridesmaids is hilarious. I love that movie. I think it's friggin' hilarious. Period. Uh, but, dude, <laughs> yeah, yes, the Catalina, you know what? The Step Brothers, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I could watch that movie when it's on regular TV if it has commercials. It yeah. could have an ad every five seconds, and I would still watch that movie. It's so weird. So, Step Brothers, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tommy's right. You can yeah. come in, your Step Brothers, uh, even if it's the last scene, uh, you're going to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, I love both of these movies. I think they're both hilarious, but Step Brothers is by far the funnier of the two. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Step Brothers? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Austin? Yeah, yeah. Bride's Race is, is all right. It, it's very enjoyable. But yes, yeah, Step Brothers is in my top, like, you know, 100. I, I love that movie to pieces. So yeah, I, I also got to go with Step Brothers. Yep. Did we just become best friends? Yep. yep. You want to go do karate in the garage? Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The movie's so quotable. Like, Step Brothers is just hands down one of my favorite comedies. I think it actually won our, our best comedies of the 2000s. Like, it's just, it's just uh, so, so good. And, and uh, Bridesmaids was was fun. Like it's a breakout role for Melissa McCarthy, and, and like kind of where you recognize a lot of the the, the hilarious uh, women in comedy. But I mean, like, like Step Brothers, one of those movies that like even to this day, I wouldn't mind a sequel. Even if it's years down the road, I would love to revisit these these uh, two brothers and the family, and also too just them uh, just annoying the hell out of their parents. And when they're just like, shut the fuck up. 
shut the fuck up and, like you're just like annoying the hell out of them just, just like it's just oh yeah like it's just so good like the way the, the i heard the my son yell rape <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mary Steve yeah, version is the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but yeah so a stepbrother for me but cousin ryan uh, you know, I'm not going to make any friends with this, but I'm going to have to say Bridesmaids. I mm. I don't like Will Ferrell. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. You're know, yeah. going to disown me now. Yeah. Blonsky Riley was the part, that part of that movie is my favorite. Bridesmaids has like, an outbreak cast of Kristen Wiig, Maya Rudolph, and uh, Melissa McCarthy. I mean, SNL alum. It's great. It's fantastic. It's funny. I can watch it. Mm. I, I have to pick that over Step Brothers. just Will Ferrell. I mean, mm. whatever. Yeah. Oh, well, Ryan, for everyone. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Because that's exactly what I was gonna pick. Oh, so, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As the only only female on this panel, I will take the time. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah. For sure. For me. Why like, all, we are all wrong as men. Yeah. Yeah. Like You're all wrong. You're all like the worst. No. It uh bridesmaids for me, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a close one, but but uh, yeah, step step brothers, brothers. Brothers. we still haven't had a tie. Interesting enough. Yeah. Usually on tournament fights, we've had a tie or two by now. We still haven't had yeah. one. So interesting. Yeah, any ties yet. So, yep. Yeah, but we have mm -hmm. the Shawshank Redemption up next. And we're against the Big Lebowski. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. All right. Moose and Papa, you're up first. What do you got? Uh, Shawshank or Lebowski? What do you think? Uh, that one's tough. Yeah. We'll pass. <laughs> yeah. All right, Austin. All right. Um, gonna give you right. No. <laughs> We're going to discuss amongst ourselves. Come back to us. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Uh, 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 this Austin. one's this one's easy for me because I'm one of those people who doesn't get the Big Lebowski. I've given it like 900 chances. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I don't get it. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's not for me. Uh, so it's an easy one for Shawshank. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat, like kind of like it, like I, I like the Big Lebowski, but but like it's just okay, like it's a fine a movie, like it, if it's on TV, I'll, I'll I'll probably sit down and and uh, watch the rest of it, but and the Shawshank Redemption, I, it's a great movie, but I don't understand the like greatest of all time thing that like people say, but but it's a great uh, movie, and and I, and I, I'd certainly pick Shawshank over Big Lebowski, I think, so I gotta go with Shawshank. But uh, cousin Ryan, right. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really: get busy living or get busy dying, gentlemen. And <laughs> oh, you know, if, if the Big Lebowski was against m most other things, I'd probably pick it. But it's Shawshank Redemption. It's two of my favorite actors, the greatest voiceover person to ever narrate a movie. Uh, yep. Come on, so Shawshank Redemption for me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Renee, what do you think? Yeah, for me, I would have to agree with Shawshank Redemption. I mean, every time it's on, which it's on, like, what does it say? It's like keeping the lights on at TBS, right? Yeah, or, right. Or right. That, yeah. yeah. David Spade. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's like, to me, it's like a story of redemption, and it just, like, makes me happy every single time I watch it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Tommy, what do you think? This is a tough one because... I'll, and I'll give you this, Pez. It took me like five times. Then I got it. All right. <laughs> well, look, I'll say this. So, I've given it the best possible chance. I, I've seen this movie in a theater at an art house screening where they were serving uh, white Russians with the massive like fans of the fans. And I still was just like, I... I I, I don't know what I, I don't get it. I know. Like, I, I, know. I've given it every and chance. I know that. I give it every chance. Okay. I know yeah. that side of it. It's it's mm -hmm. it's funky like that, but. Mm -hmm. um, I know that being said, I mean, it's hard for me to go against the big Lebowski because I have a shirt that says the dude with his face on it. One of my best movies of all time, but my heart is pulling me to Shawshank. So I'm going to go in Shawshank. Dude, I did not yeah. see that coming. Dufresne. Yeah, yeah. Dufresne. Yeah. Hey, the, the, the lava rock <laughs> at the end of the fence. Fuck, yeah, I mean, uh, right. And then he meets him there. Come on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, how does yeah. it yeah. make you name? feel? What's and the then Lebowski, name? you're all confused. You know, I, is the movie over? It, you know, should I still sit here? I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> should I do hands? You know, like that's the Lebowski. <laughs> Sorry. Well, even in the chat, they're they're a little split. We got 
that Steven, he's because he likes the big Lebowski, mm -hmm. highly enjoyable. But Shawshank is, in my opinion, top three. And then you have Malcolm, who who's for the big Lebowski. So it's tough for him, but he would go mm -hmm. Lebowski by a hair. So, so yeah. But mm -hmm. but but uh, Moose, have you guys come to a decision? So the Moose confided, <laughs> and uh, we elected that we are going to go with the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Well, it's in like Shawshank right. it is. So. Yeah, Shawshank moves yeah. forward. Yep. We thought the yeah. dude would not abide in this case. I know. The dude yeah. abides. He abides. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all right, that, was so, that, was so that was so cheesy. That was so cheesy. Yeah. Finally did the other side, so let's see what we got hey. here. All right. <laughs> right. Here we go. We all right. Wally. A little preview. We got oh, Wally. Going up against Return of the Jedi. Yeah, Return so of the Jedi. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sci-fi kind of. So, yeah. So, um, who's up first? Um, I'm up first. So, okay. uh, yeah. No, I, I enjoy Wally. I've tried many times to explain, as you'll hear in a minute, why uh, to Jordan why it's a good movie and why the first 45 minutes <laughs> yeah. is brilliant visual storytelling. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, uh, but I, I'll still go. Uh, like I like Wally, but I mean, Return of the Jedi is a lot of fun. I, I like Return of the Jedi a lot. It's it's probably top three Star Wars. So. Uh, yeah, I'll say Return of the Jedi, but no disrespect to Wally. Yeah. Well, for me, the first forty minutes or whatever, like, is boring. Like snooze fest. Like, like put me to sleep just because. Because there's no dialogue. It's just this robot running around digging through trash or like whatever. It's like like happening. And then it's like it just doesn't really uh, appeal to me. So I mean, I'm not really that high on on uh, Wally. But Return of the Jedi. It is my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. Like, Return of the Jedi is hands down the best Star Wars movie. And, yeah, like, I just love the, the like, well, especially for me, I love how they have all the different characters in all these different situations. So you have what's going on on the moon of Endor. Then you have a space battle going on. Then you have Luke confronting Darth Vader, and it keeps cutting back and forth, and it's just really great storytelling. And you're waiting to see what's going to happen next. And also it has Ewok, which is it is cool. You have more... Uh, uh, uh lando calrissian just a lot of cool stuff you have luke in like the the like black suit with the green lightsaber all that stuff so yeah i am gonna save it return of the jedi so but um cousin ryan wally's cute huh? good choice so to have that on there <laughs> watch it once and i'll never pick it up again uh but <laughs> the jedi probably Probably one of my favorite movies. I know it doesn't hold up for a lot of people because of the Ewoks and how they were able to fight uh, the Empire that quickly in the woods. That was pretty intense. <laughs> but, uh, Return of the Jedi over Wally any day. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, Renee, what do you think? <laughs> um, I ooh, I love <laughs> Wally. Wally, like, yeah. sorry. <laughs> He's like, got our it's all good. He's like a oh, straight hey. up like. <laughs> Star Wars obsessed Marvel. Nice, nice. You want to say <laughs> something? Show some love. Yeah. Okay. I say Wally because it has nope. holds a special place in my heart. Nope. Um, <laughs> and I love oh, the between him and Evie or Eva. And anyways, so that's nope. my choice. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's, She's over it now. Voted for Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> right. She All tried. Right. Totally. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, I do a good Wally impression. Wally. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not, but I also no, I really like Wally. Um, cool movie. Um, I'm all about it, but can't go against Return of the Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> well, Moose. Well, Moose. Mm -hmm. I can't go ahead. I kind of figured I had to put at least one animated movie on the list. It was between Wally and Megamind, uh, yeah. and I That's went with Wally. Um, I think Wally should have auditioned for Return of the Jedi. Probably would have got in. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, that means Return of the Jedi has our vote. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could I could see uh, I could see Wally picking up trash at Jabba's palace. I mean, I, I imagine there's yeah, a lot of exactly. filth to uh, to yeah, clean right. up around there. Yeah, so it's a very filthy place. <laughs> Shoveling yeah, yeah. rainforest shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, well, Return of the Jedi is gonna take it. Nope, I already went first. I uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh, you went first. Okay, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Return of the Jedi. There's two houses uh, out there. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah. But we have um, we have Hot yeah, Fuzz yeah. up next. Yeah. Up against Jurassic World. Okay. All, right. <laughs> All right, Jordan. It's me first. Well, man, mm -hmm. you got to make me do it while I'm wearing the actual shirt here. You're so wearing I got the, the Hot Fuzz <laughs> shirt. Yeah. You're wearing the Cornetto so, Trilogy shirt. Yeah, right. The Cornetto Trilogy, which is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. This is tough, though, because like uh, uh, like, with Jurassic World or really any Jurassic Park movie just plays with the inner child of just like dinosaurs just running around and like, causing chaos and like ripping people's heads off, just like all that stuff. And it's like, like even for Jurassic World, it's like, like I don't go there for like any kind of great, amazing storytelling. I just go there to just see all the dinosaur stuff to just uh, turn my, my brain off, shove popcorn in my face, just, just watch all of that. But uh, that being said, though, Hot Fuzz is my favorite of the Cornetto trilogy. So Mushi picked the right one because this is the best one, and and there's just so much action and like comedy, just the way that it's that it's all put together, and and the action hits hard, like it gets really intense. There's some pretty intense stuff in this movie, so I think here I got to go with with Hot Fuzz. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I wore the shirt for a reason, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, cousin Ryan, I. Uh you know, I agree. Hot Fuzz is the greatest of those movies. Simon Pegg and them are hilarious. But yeah. Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic Park is something that's near and dear to my heart. And they, in Jurassic World, bringing in B.D. Wong as Dr. Henry Wu really cemented it for me to love this movie because it placed it in the same universe. So Jurassic World for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, Renee, what do you think? I feel like that was the first, Jurassic Park was the first movie we saw like an add in like indoor movie theater. I feel like that was like the mm. first one our parents took us to. So though that whole franchise holds a special place in my heart. Um, and so I'm gonna put Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, uh, Tommy, what do you think? Um, dude, Hot Fuzz is awesome. I love Hot Fuzz. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I remember like just I mean, I didn't catch it in the theaters. I think I got it after the fact. And I remember just like renting it or, or whatever and watching it and being like, holy shit, that was a bad A movie. And it's actually one of my top 10 favorite movies. So yeah. I love Jurassic Park. Like Jordan said earlier, I, I agree with you 100% on your description of that. So um, although uh -huh. Jurassic Park is a you know great franchise and you know I cannot wait till the new one comes out. Hot Same. Fuzz is awesome. So I'll go Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, break out my my uh, Hot Fuzz box set, I have a box set of just Hot Fuzz. It's like five discs long, packed with special features. So there's a lot. Like you can find them on, on like YouTube, all the deleted scenes and special features. Like you can look them up sometimes. There's a like commentary stuff. track for Hot Fuzz where uh, Quentin Tarantino and Edgar Wright do the commentary track. They do not talk about the movie whatsoever. They just talk about their favorite movies for like two hours. It's just them talking about <laughs> yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, and somebody, awesome. and, yeah, and it's on YouTube, and somebody listed all the movies that they reference in it. It's like 250 movies, they, different movies they talk about. Wow. <laughs> so, and they, re they really like awesome. the movie Brannigan with John with John Wayne, where he's like in, in England. They talk about Brannigan a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, Moose. But, yeah, Moose, what do you think? So Jurassic World introduced us to Chris Pratt controlling raptors, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Yep. Mm -hmm. We did talk amongst ourselves, and Hot Fuzz is awesome. We're gonna vote Hot Fuzz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, sounds good. Um, um, Austin, there is a better Jurassic oh. Park on the list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. 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 If this was uh, Hot Fuzz versus the OG Jurassic Park, this would be a lot more difficult. Um, but yeah, Hot Fuzz is in my top 64. I adore this movie. I, I, it's my favorite of the Cornetto. So I've seen it. God, I put this movie on a lot. Like I've seen it probably 50 or 60 times. I love it. So yeah, I also yeah. got to go Hot Fuzz. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, Hot All Fuzz right, it hot is. Fuzz. It's mm -hmm. moving on. All right. Nice. And next we have Deadpool. Going up against Bohemian and Rhapsody. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Ryan. So, cousin Ryan. Yeah. Uh, this is a hard one. Wow, this is a hard one. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> such great movie. I love both these movies. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume, I think Moose knows where I'm probably going to go with this because he is my, my man crush forever. But Ryan Reynolds has 
I've been wanting to do this for so <laughs> long and I'm so happy when it happened and I love him and everything. So Deadpool for me. It is true. I forgot about your man crush on, on, on Ryan Reynolds from the last episode. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we talked about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Renee, what do you think? Okay. I haven't seen either of these. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oh, um, still got a vote. So what? I'm gonna the reason. buy in. I support him and his man crushes I have for years. <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be deadful for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Tommy? Um both movies were uplifting, but left me kind of depressed at the end. <laughs> and I do love Bohemian Rhapsody and I do love Deadpool, but I'm going to go with the one that that touched me the most, and that was Bohemian Rhapsody. Boom. Mm. Mm. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, the last the last yeah. thirty minutes of Bohemian Rhapsody, where they're doing the Live Aid concert, mm -hmm. is some of the best like movie watching you'll ever see. It's so good, and the music is so great in Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, this is a tough one because I love Deadpool too. Uh, I mean, of the of the X Men movies, this is the X Men movie I wanted. <laughs> um, so it's tough. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I like the music in uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, but uh, I kind of like Deadpool too. Huh? Yeah. We're there you go. Uh, we're voting on Deadpool one, not Deadpool two. Uh, oh, Papa you, Moose. Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got gotcha. you. Just right, wanted to make that clear. Yeah. Uh, Deadpool. That's a, going Deadpool. It's another running gag here on Tournament Fight. To anybody adds the words, yeah, yeah, or something. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We're voting on uh, the original. Oh, yes. We are right. cool, Dad Deadpool. Moose. I don't think my dad would ever vote for a Deadpool movie, but your dad will. So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. but but Austin. Um, yeah, I, I, I love Queen music. Um, uh, the movie itself was, was okay. Um, there's a movie in my top 100 called Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story that has soured <laughs> my watching of any music biopic since I saw that movie <laughs> as far as like, you know, exposing all the tropes. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go Deadpool on this one. Uh, just by a little bit. Yeah. So I'm a massive Deadpool fan. That's like when, when uh, my ex-wife, when we went on, on our first date, it was the the uh day deadpool came out so i asked her what she wanted to do she's like i want to go see deadpool i'm like yep he's like well, you're the one for me so <laughs> so yeah <laughs> and and i came out on valentine's day so it's a perfect valentine's day day because he's doing the little heart there and everything <laughs> and and what he may it, it's fun but uh like i mostly just watch it for the music for the concert stuff but as overall a movie I'd go with Deadpool, and also I grew up reading Deadpool comic books and all of that. So, so yeah, and um, and Ryan Reynolds they did it just they made it R, uh, like rated R because uh, for a Deadpool character you pretty much have to be, and like with all the wisecracking and all that stuff, which is cool. perfect for the character. So, yeah, Deadpool. But right. well, uh, what are the votes at Austin? Uh, five to one for Deadpool. Okay. So Deadpool's moving on. All right. mm -hmm. Renee, Deadpool, treat yourself and watch Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to my two friends that are watching Crystal and Greg. They're watching um, our oh, basic nice. mm -hmm. like, family FaceTime. So they said mm -hmm. you need to watch Bohemian Rhapsody. So yeah, mm. that's right. right about it too. Yeah, the last mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Yeah, off the air. <laughs> but next we have Star Wars Rogue One or or Rogue One Star Wars story. story. Technically, <laughs> but yeah. going up against the burbs. <laughs> so, the yeah. burbs, all right. Yeah. All right, Renee. Oh. Um, like, there's no like, I there's no conversation. It just needs to be the burbs. Like, that's really <laughs> weird for me. That movie, yeah, yeah. like Tom Hanks in that movie, <laughs> is like so hilarious. He's just like fresh and new. Oh, I love it so much. And we used to watch that growing up. I tried to watch it like again with my daughter and she was like, this is dumb, but I love it. <laughs> so it does carry over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Tommy, what do you think? Um, Rogue One is a heavy movie. I love Rogue One. It's heavy duty. Um, man, that's a tough movie. Um, you know, 
definitely one I shed a tear in. But the Burbs, yeah, I agree with my sister. I, in my opinion, it's Tom Hanks' best movie, or excuse me, my favorite Tom Hanks movie. And there's just scene after scene after scene that reminds me of my childhood and growing up with my brothers and sisters and just rewinding manually. And that's what we did. So the Burbs for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Moose, what do you think? This one's tough because Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie. Is it? It is. Uh, well, what is Dad? Ask Dad. Dad. <laughs> yeah, we know Dad. Oh, we know what Dad's gonna say. Well, I'll just say one scene. Uh, my brother, the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> when they visit the club, <laughs> that's the part. And then that Pinocchio-looking redheaded guy. <laughs> yeah. Slide tackles him. Every slide tackles him. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. We'll flip through the birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Um, Austin, what do you think? Had I had I not rewatched the Burbs, like not recently, you know, when we had Brother Lomas and you on, you know, that we did our '80s comedy thing, and uh, I had a blast with it, like rewatching it uh, on Blu-ray, and I I love Bruce Dern in that movie. I think he's he's great. Um, yeah, the whole cast is really solid. Um, yeah, I had, I had a good time with it. So you know what? Why not? Well, I'm gonna vote for the Burbs. Just why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, uh. uh so I was a little late to the uh, party with the Burbs. I, I only saw it last year for the first time, and and for whatever reason, like I probably should have watched it at a lot younger age because for whatever reason, it just didn't hit with me. I just didn't really find it that funny. I didn't really care too much for it. Sorry, but but like I'm just, I just was just like um in that camp, and and like really the only thing that I really liked was like Corey Feldman popping up and just just like. I'm like giving all the little shout outs with the sunglasses on I'm like what's up mr peterson and like all, all that stuff and so uh but but like rogue one like like uh it's neck and neck with with the return of the uh, the jedi for me there's some days where I, i'd even i uh, put it over return of the jedi is my favorite star wars movie they're just like like such great writing and storytelling and the music and just everything and like i always tell people so i uh, if you go into whatever uh your favorite uh music streaming services so the, the score is not done by by john williams it's, it's done by, by by michael giacchino but they have an extended version of the score and it is beautiful stuff even though it's not john williams like like trust me like it but like, like it is really good stuff that's stuff that'll make me like should a tear listening to so so uh i definitely recommend that so but yeah just overall i i'm gonna vote for for uh rogue one because it plays really well into a new hope too so yeah i'll go with with Rogue One, because of Ryan. Uh, so Rogue One, not one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Granted, it does make uh, redeems a Darth Vader, makes him more menacing in his castle. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, for me, I love the Burbs, and it's one of those movies I'm, I remember watching as a kid with Moose and the Haas family too. Like, they introduced it to me. But the reason I'm going to pick this is because it's another Star Wars themed reason is forever my princess was in this movie and she was amazing yeah. carrie fisher it was yeah. fantastic and talk about us you know between those two movies it'd have to be her i mean she had a small little what cgi role in rogue one but carrie fisher in the burbs hands down <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah that is true though. i always forget that she's in that so yeah, so yeah but yeah but the, oh. It, Renee, yeah, Renee, we have, so, so, so there, we have a running gag on tournament fights here. We have a guy we love that comes on the show named Richie, and uh, about every twenty or thirty minutes, he has these two dogs in his in his room that will just for no reason just start going bonkers, like just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just going crazy. And he always has to like quickly mute himself, just be like, sorry. We go, oh, there, there totally. go the dogs. I'm so sorry, like, but he was even a shout no, 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 out. No, you're fine. Yeah, he no, no, they, 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 they're way louder. So. Trust me, Richies yeah. are way crazier, like just out of nowhere, just like, bah, 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 bah. like they just start like a dog fight or something in the, in the background. Is that buddy barking over there, Nene? Yeah. 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 What? Was that buddy? Yeah, my husband just came home with a churro for me. So, anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was nice. that was good stuff. But, but next we have Spider Man into the Spider Verse going up against Nina Jones in the Last Crusade. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Tommy's up first this time. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty easy one for me, although uh, Into the Spider-Verse is freaking awesome. Me and my boys watch it together. We love it. 
Um, looking forward to number two coming out, but um, the Sean Connery Indiana Jones. I mean, everything about that movie screams my childhood and brings back just great memories for me. So I think I, that was my reasoning for our last pick and might be for the next whatever 28 picks we have left. But uh, Indiana <laughs> Jones, um, Sean Connery, I love it. I'll pick that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Renee, what do you think? Oops. Anyway, we're going up to. Oh yeah. Uh, we oh yeah. Sorry. We're... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, we're Spider-Man down. Into the Spider Verse is Listen. the best Spider-Man movie. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's so much fun. Might be right. Uh, it gives might be us right. Miles Morales. Gives us every version of Spider-Man we could want. But Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is a establishment in the Haas household. <laughs> it has the best ending of any movie in my opinion, of all time. The heroes ride off into the sunset. And before that happens, you get the fun joke of Marcus Brody almost falling off his horse, and his father mm-hmm. turning to him and going, got lost in his old museum. Like, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. Yeah, yeah. Um, Austin, what do you think? Yeah, this one's extremely easy for me. Uh, again, I love the Indiana Jones movies. Last Crusade is my favorite. And Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse literally gives me a migraine when I watch it. So Last Crusade. <laughs> easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gives me motion sickness. I can't watch it. <laughs> and I tried recently again for a show. <laughs> this one's surprisingly really, really tough for me because, like, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Like, literally, like, if you reach, like, five feet in any uh, direction – in my room, there's Spider-Man stuff everywhere. Like, I got Spider-Man here. Then I got, got another Spider-Man here. We got this one. And then if you turn the, the camera over here, I don't know if you can see, but I got a, a huge Spider-Man on my wall there. So, yeah, there's a lot everywhere. But, but I mean... And, Is Spider-Man in that bed? <laughs> not quite, but... <laughs> not yet, but... But... Um, <laughs> but... Like Indiana Jones and Last Crusade, like, like, it is great, and on there are certain moments that they hit pretty hard for me. Like when he's calling him Junior for the whole time, and he finally calls him Indy. Like that's a sweet moment, and, and like saying that they named the the dog Indy and all that. Like, and that's good stuff. But, <laughs> but, but like, I just have a hard time going against Spider Man, and uh, I wasn't like a, a, like crazy crazy fan. Of Into the Spider Verse, as a lot of people were when when it first came out, but but I gave it a rewatch recently, and and it gets better with uh, with multiple rewatches. So I'm excited for for the next one. Like we're getting sequels to both of these movies, so they're they're coming. So but but I think that uh, for this one, I got to go with, with Into the Spider Verse. So, but uh, Ryan. Uh, you know, Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse is an amazing movie. I loved it. Miles Morales, the first look of it. Uh, I love the fact that it was kind of the testing the waters of the multiverse for the MCU before they gave us the real thing. Uh, it really gave them the green light. But Indiana Jones, I when then, again, one of those movies I can turn on and watch all the time. Granted, and I know this is going to come up later, but Indiana Jones, Last Crusade is not my favorite I would have to say it's my third in that list. Uh, my number one is going to be kind of against everybody, probably. But uh, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade over Spider Man, just just barely. Yeah. Hang on, you're not a Kingdom of the Crystal Skull fan, are you? No, I don't he's even, a Temple of Doom guy. I don't, I don't even he's know a what Temple that Doom is. guy. No. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, Austin. Hey, Austin what, hey, hey, what? hey, hey, fair enough, Ryan. The last forty-five minutes of Temple of Doom may be like the best movie ever. Like yeah, legit, yeah. like from from you know from basically like when he goes and starts the fight, like in the in the mines or whatever, and and they do that awesome shot of him like with the mine cart, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, the light on him, like all yeah. the way to the end, maybe like some of the best adventure filmmaking ever made. So I'll, I'll I I can I can understand that. Yep. <laughs> but uh, right, but Renee, you're Renee. the last vote on this one. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna like I agree with my brothers. Ryan, my father, Indiana Jones was like, this one in particular was like super sentimental. But when I watched Spider-Verse, I was with this kid. Say hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think (laughs) this is going to be any good. And it was fantastic. Like, we've watched it so many times, huh? 
We've yeah, we've watched it a bunch. So anyways, I go for Spider-Verse. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can she say something real quick? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You go for it. I don't know why I look for, for animated things. I look for, like, the quality of the animation. And this is really, really good. Like, they made everyone look so different. It wasn't, like, even the background characters weren't, like, really poorly made. They worked good on, like, everyone. Yeah, 100%. 100%, Kendall. Yeah. Okay. Like, all the different versions of Spider-Man, all that stuff. Like, the like Spider-Gwen, all that Spider-Ham. stuff. Spider-Ham. Yeah. yeah, Spider-Ham. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like Spider Man Noir, voiced by yeah. Nick Cage. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. like gonna be... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be on the last crusade. Still two for last crusade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Spider Man put up a good fight. But yeah, last crusade's moving on. Yeah. But we have Die Hard going up against <laughs> Ghostbusters 2. Hey. Ooh. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Moose and Papa, you're up first. Yeah. What do you got? All right. What do you think, John McClane or or boys and or Vigo? It's Vigo. Vigo. Yeah, <laughs> look like the busting of flies to him. He's going to take the little bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. No, yeah, I, I, I'm for Ghostbusters too. I, I'm in agreement with Pop. Ghostbusters too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Austin. Yeah, we, we see Die Hard on here uh, on tournament fights a lot, just for anybody who's not familiar. It, it's on a lot of tournaments. Um, and, yeah, I, I'm a defender of Ghost Pushers, too. I think it's a lot of fun. I still think the chemistry is there. There's a lot of really, really fun scenes. I, I love the bit where uh, Bill Murray looks at Egon and goes, you're not – or he looks at Dan Hager and goes, you're not sleeping with it, are you, Ray? <laughs> like, it's <just> such a <laughs> great <laughs> yeah, – talking, uh, talking about the goo. Like, it's so great. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I'll go Ghost Pushers, too. Why, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Ray never did answer that question. Yeah, he never did. He, he was very subtle. They just nope. moved on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so the first Ghostbusters it shows up a lot in tournament fights, but Ghostbusters 2, maybe not so much. And and I let, well, well, I will uh, acknowledge John McClane is the best action hero of all time. Like, he's number one of all time. There's no debate on that. It, he is. But, well, there is a but, debate on that. I mean, you can't just declare no, no, that. There's, there's quite no, there's a debate, no debate about that. No, you can <laughs> yeah. declare it. No, you absolutely can. <laughs> but, but anyway. <laughs> uh, but but um, Ghostbusters 2, though, it, it's a lot of fun. And, and like, I like all the stuff that go down in the sewer, and it shows them getting slimed a lot more, and it shows them kind of just interacting with – with with some of the ghosts in, the, in like more kind of unique ways and and so yeah i dig all of that so i'm gonna go with with Ghostbusters too and also too to make winston more of a, a like prominent character so i like that so yeah ghostbusters too but uh cousin ryan um doe Ray, Ray. Egon. Egon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, nice. I, I love <laughs> I love Die Hard. My grandmother, I think she's on this watching. She's gonna be super pissed at me um, <laughs> because Die Hard is one of her favorite movies, and it is. Dude, that's so true. It's a crucial <laughs> movie, no matter what anyone says. Yeah, but that's awesome. Ghostbusters too. I mean, what we just did right there, I could walk into a room and do that, and the Haas's family knows what's going on. So, <laughs> Ghostbusters too, all the way. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. How many people's grandma like loves Die Hard like that? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but, but, mm -hmm. but, um, Renee. Um, I mean, come on, guys. It's Ghostbusters too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tommy. Um, so there can only be one Ghostbuster winner. So yep. I'm gonna play a little strategy here. And <laughs> yeah, I freaking love Die Hard. So, you know what? <laughs> Ghostbusters 2, again, is awesome. I love it. Great. But Die Hard is a badass movie. Die Hard. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you betrayed us. Yeah. I know. No. <laughs> I feel like I could at this point because there's like a, there's already, what, three other Ghostbusters in there? <laughs> yeah. There's one with yeah. Kristen Wiig in there. That one's in there, too. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 It yeah. wouldn't be a hot The Scalier Brothers. I tried to put Gave him the uh, chair. I love right Harrison Ford in that movie. <laughs> 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 I know. Yano. I'd have you. 
That I got all you birds at the stake. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, we got nice a some estrangement order. That blue thing I got mm -hmm. from her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they could be exposing yeah. themselves, and you don't want us exposing ourselves. Uh, <laughs> all, right. Right. Tommy, all right. Can I change my vote? <laughs> you can. Good Before heavens. Moose. All right, Ghostbusters, for Christ's sake. Right, Before Moose got his vote. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, Moose. I guess. He already did. He already did. They no, went yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, they went first. Oh, mm -hmm. they went first. Okay. Hey, nobody dies harder than John McClain, but come on, it's Ghostbusters, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. My bad. Yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> but up next, we got Thor Ragnarok going up against Gladiator. Which is good. It's kind of an interesting matchup because they both fight in like a Gladiator style arena, you know? So, <laughs> but let's, let's uh, hear it, Pez. Lay it on. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they sure do. And one's a vastly superior movie than the other one. <laughs> this is easily Gladiator because <laughs> everybody who's he been on Tournament like Fights knows my disdain yeah. for Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> I hate that movie. Uh, I uh, hate everything about that movie. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, I, I, they turned Thor into an absolute uh, wimp and, and wuss, and I hate that movie. So, uh, yeah, easily Gladiator. The much better Gladiator movie. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, yeah. This one's, uh, it's kind of tough, but I mean, I'll probably end up going with Thor. Uh, uh, yeah, like, I just think that it's a lot of fun. Like Taika Waititi, he's my favorite director of all time. I love him. He hasn't directed a ton of stuff yet, but he, he's well on his way. Like, I can't wait to see what he does with Star Wars and and some of those other things. But, but uh, yeah. I just love his sense of of, of humor and, and what he brings to the the table. All the color schemes. I mean, Kate Blanchett as Hella. I mean, come on. You get more uh, Tessa Thompson. Uh, you get get uh, Jeff Goldblum in there. I mean, yeah, and even a Carl Urban being the executioner and that. So yeah, like it's a lot of fun. Like I think that that like your superhero movies don't need to be dark and like and like serious and. They don't need to even make a lot of sense sometimes. I mean, they're just fun. They're comic books. They're, they're not based on like science here or anything. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with with Thor Ragnarok. So, but cousin Ryan, are you not entertained? Come on, like, <laughs> not by that movie. <laughs> so I'll tell, you now, I'll tell you now. No matter what was against Thor Ragnarok, I was voting against it just out of pure spite today on Haas because it's like he's obsessed with the movie quotes it all the time. It's annoying, but the fact that it's Gladiator, uh, I watched this movie a billion times with my father growing up. We quote this movie constantly to each other. Um, Russell Crowe was amazing in it. You know, I. Yeah, I gladiator for me. I don't know. I can't explain it any better yeah. than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Renee. Renee. Okay. Um, well done. Well, I want to know me first. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a like a uh, soft spot in my heart because there's a song from Gladiator that I walked down to in my wedding, Ooh, and because yeah. it's mm. my husband's favorite movie. But I shall let her take over because Thor Ragnarok has become our favorite. It's yeah. definitely one of my favorite MCU movies because, let's be honest, no one really liked Thor 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, kind of true. Yeah. I mean, it was cool. kind yeah. of bland, man. Um, but Thor Ragnarok was like the actually good Thor movie because it wasn't like oh, yeah. dry of humor. It had a lot of humor, but that didn't take away from the plot. It still had a good plot. Yeah. And it was just... You only got 30 seconds. Let <laughs> <laughs> um, me mute your mic now. Wrap it up. The, so Thor Ragnarok is our choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all I need to say. It's like, let's be honest. No one really liked Thor 1 and, and, and I mean, yeah. 2. That's, That's kind of true. Like that. for, for Thor the Dark World, especially that. So, <laughs> yeah, but, but Tommy? Hey, Tommy? What do you think? Um, uh, yeah, Thor Ragnarok is my favorite MCU movie. Sorry, wow. Pez. I know. I don't get it. Um, I just don't I, get it. Right? Yeah. You know what? It's the Lebigabowski thing. So that maybe that's the key. Yeah. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, Thor Ragnarok is my favorite movie. Gladiator is a great movie, epic, all that, you know, great, whatever. But Ragnarok is in kind of step with Guardians of the Galaxy. And I love that just yep. beat, that humor. Um, that's what I want my superheroes movies to be. You know, I want to feel good. 
I don't want to like have to wait for the next one to like feel better. So yeah, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> well, look at Thor: Love and Thunder coming up. That looks freaking awesome. Where are you going to team up with the? It Guardians looks more of the same. It looks it awful, looks awesome. awful. It looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And they used the most overrated band of own. all time in the trailers. Yeah. God, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> what a That's horrible awesome. song. Yeah. Come on, easy awful. Man. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, if I could give some advice to Taika Waititi, like stop making all this stuff and go back and make what we do in the moonlight and go back to shit I do like that you make. So, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and I'll enjoy it more. Yeah. Make <laughs> yeah. the what we do in the shadow sequel and I'll be happy. Yeah. All right. Well, Moose. Anyways, Moose. Well, we both agree that Gladiator is an epic movie. Great, amazing. But nothing is better than Thor Ragnarok. Everything. <laughs> Everything is better yeah, than Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the Phantom is better than Thor Ragnarok. To the two best characters in the MCU, Korg and Meek. Okay? Yes, Korg. those are the best characters right now yes. in the MCU. Give yes. me the Thor and or the uh, Korg and Meek like buddy cop on the run from the law comedy all day. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Thor but, Ragnarok yeah. is so good. It's oh, hasn't I said good. this? Yes. Last time, Haas. We said this last time. This is Thor Ragnarok, not Korg Ragnarok. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's true. That, I mean, that, you can't argue with that. Wait till Endgame comes up and I... I that's why a little I'm, certain I'm, somebody I'm, crying in the opening scene. Thor, be, Thor, Thor Ragnarok, let's go. Get Captain America Civil War. It's more than just Captain America. Come on. Thor Ragnarok <laughs> has the line, oh my God, the hammer pulled you off. Like, that's yeah. So great. <laughs> yeah. Let's move forward with Thor Ragnarok. Please and thank you. Ryan, Thor Ragnarok. All right. Forever. Hey, forever and Moose, ever. Come Moose, on. where's your where's your whiteboard? All right, first one of the night. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well I get I gave you a point earlier for a uh, a, a funny joke you made, so <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> one to one currently. <laughs> well, all right. Well next we got Got National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation going up against the Big Trouble and Little oh, Trouble. Oh, 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 come on. This is like oh, Sophie's uh, Choice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which, oddly it's enough, Renee, time. we've never had the movie Sophie's Choice on any of these shows. <laughs> I'm pretty so sure you have. Yet. <laughs> not, not, not yet. Uh, we're waiting for it to happen, given the fact that this is a show of Sophie's Choices, but it's never happened yet. Yeah, but you might have to explain yeah. to Ryan and Mark what that movie is, because they vary very young. Okay. Yeah. It's with Madonna, right? I, I'm not sure. I yeah, no Madonna. Idea. It's Meryl yeah. Streep. <laughs> Come on, people. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No one remembers that movie. But anyways, uh, so I'm up first. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... This one's easier for me uh, personally. I'm a massive fan of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I think it's the best vacation in the movie. It's so good. There's there's so many lines like like when all the stuff with cousin Eddie. Like when he shows up and he's like, "Gee, Eddie, I can wouldn't be more excited if I woke up tomorrow with my head sewn to the carpet." I mean, come on, <laughs> there's, there's like so many just just great lines like um, like him uh, just. Uh, pissing off his two neighbors and it's Julie Louis Dreyfus. He's like, "Why is the carpet wet?" I don't know, Margot. Well, something had to break the stereo, and it's just like, like, yeah, like it, there's just so many lines you could just quote that for days. And Big Trouble in, in Little China, it's fun seeing Kurt Russell just kind of stumble into like one thing after the other, and, and he keeps winning, and and he teams up with 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 these guys in uh, Chinatown. And uh, there's a lot of mystical stuff going on. It's fun. And you got the Pork Chop Express in there, all that. But I got to go with Christmas Vacation for me. It's, I've seen that movie at least 100 times. Like, that's so good. So, yeah. But, Cousin Ryan? Sooner or later, I rub everyone the wrong way. Right. You know, <laughs> come on. Big Trouble Little China has some of the greatest quotes ever. Um, I know already that Papa Haas is gonna, has a quote coming up when they get to this, <laughs> this section. Uh I watched Big Trouble in Little China with my dad probably a million times as a kid. It's one of those movies, too. So I get quoted over and over. National Raccoon's Christmas Vacation, probably the best vacation movie they had. And if this was, you know, I, I can't wait to our next podcast. I know this is going to come up again. Um, but Big Trouble in Little China beats it hands down. Yeah. Jack Burton, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Renee, what do you think? Um, it's Big Trouble in Little China for me. I mean, 
we yeah. watch Christmas Vacation like it's like a staple in our household. But Big Trouble in Little China is so quotable. I mean, it's just insane the amount of like goodness that has come. And fun fact, I went to the college that they had the staircase to uh, Lo Pan's like lair. So anyways. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> nice. Oh. Well, Tommy, what, what do you think? Uh, yeah. Are you serious, Clark? Um, <laughs> yeah. Another, <laughs> another one of those Christmas vacation lines that we'll just say. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, um, Big Trouble in Little China is one of my top five movies. And mm. if there ever was a mullet that I loved <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, true, ever, true. Kurt Russell in this movie, the best mullet, and he's also the best looking man on earth. So big trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's also yeah. a god in another movie. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Moose, what do you think? I'm going to say China is here, Mr. Burton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Jeff Burton, who? Me. <laughs> uh, we are at an impasse here because I <laughs> would be for Christmas vacation because it's the hap hap happiest movie since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to defer to my father on this one because uh, he and the Pork Chop Express, I believe, are one. <laughs> Thank you for somebody saying that, at least. I don't want to <laughs> we will put through Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Austin, what do you think? You people sit tight, hold the fort, and keep the whole fires burning. If we're not back by dawn, call the president. <laughs> the big trouble, yeah. little China. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> big trouble, little China. Right, moving on. Yeah. And then up next, we have Casino All versus right. The Martian. Oh. Okay. oh, this is tough. Oh, damn. This is the toughest one so far yeah. for <laughs> me. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Well, Ryan, you're up first. So, what do you think? <laughs> Casino for me. Uh, I Over The Martian. I, I love The Martian. Long movie, two hour, 24 minutes, give or take, whatever. Uh, but Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, are you kidding me? Like, right in their prime, right when they were hitting their strides. Uh, the Casino is just a great movie, in my opinion. So I'm going to go Casino. Yeah. <laughs> Renee, um, what, what do you think? I haven't seen either of these. Oh. Oh, uh, no. Renee, you haven't seen The Martian? <laughs> I have not Get seen out. The Martian. Oh. Um, and I don't really care for, like, Godfather movies and things like that. So Casino is kind of like... <laughs> So I'm gonna go with the oh. Martian just because I don't care for those guys. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't hate yeah. me. <laughs> well, Tommy, what do you think? Uh, casino. Uh, I did like the Martian, but uh, again, yeah, it's a uh, casino is awesome. So that's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Moose, what do you think? Uh, I watch the Martian anytime we get on a plane. Oh, wow. um, so yeah. <laughs> He just got bored of that right there. Uh, tomorrow we're flying to Italy, so I'll probably watch The Martian tomorrow. <laughs> but, Dude, why are you bragging? Why are you bragging that you're going to? Yeah, Italy? right. We just have to stay here. I know, right? <laughs> just saying, thank you for watching Derby, by the way. But Casino uh, is one of those movies where everything's wrong about it, but it drags you in and it's just so easy to watch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Casino. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. God. This this is like really tough because I love a lot of the scenes in Casino. Uh, dude, when Joe Pesci is in, in the casino playing blackjack, take this card and stick it up your ass. Hit me again. <laughs> take this card and stick it up your mother's ass. <laughs> like, like he's, he's so good. <laughs> this movie's so good. But like I got to say, despite all that, the Martian is in my top 64. I love this movie so much. I yeah. love the book. I've seen the movie like probably a dozen times at this point. Um, 
God, yeah, I gotta go with my heart and go with the Martian, but I love Casino as well. So yeah, I think for me, I gotta go with Casino. Like a Casino, like I've gone back and forth with watching Casino and and Goodfellas, and I think that it, I kind of like Casino better than Goodfellas. I don't know if that's blasphemous to say, but but I mean, I like Joe Pesci's character so much more. I mean, he's unlikable in in both movies. Uh, no matter how you uh, you put it, but and the Martian's fun. I mean, I have a good time with it. Like I'd probably vote for it if it was up against some other uh, movies. But Casino's yeah. you know, just uh, just one that I go back to a little bit more. And yeah, but it's close though between that and and Goodfellas. But I mean, <laughs> but with this in the Martian, it's a little easier. So I'll, I'll go with Casino. Oh, you were a little confused. How about I put your head through that fucking window? Then would you be a little more confused? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the best. He's yeah, the yeah. best. Renee, do a double feature of The Martian and Bohemian Rhapsody, and you will feel so much better. Yeah, 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 and I need to add Hot Fuzz to that. I've never seen Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is awesome. So okay. good. It's the yeah. best of the three. They're like they call yeah. them the Cornetto trilogy. Oh, we'll talk later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but all right. But the Martian Casino though, takes like, it. Yeah, that's a great soundtrack though. Like a lot of great '80s music. Like it's a lot of fun to, to just listen to. All that damn music. disco music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> In the movie, the character like Matt Damon gets annoyed by it, but it's fun to listen to. I like it. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, but uh, which one wins? Uh, casino four to two. Okay. Yeah, it takes it over the all Martian. Right. Mm -hmm. Four to two. All right. Mm -hmm. So up next we have Forrest Gump going up against Star Trek, <laughs> the first remake, right. two thousand nine. So, two thousand nine Star Trek. Yes. Yeah. yes all right. Who's up first? Uh, and we'll go Renee first on this one. All right. Oh, um, I just told my husband uh, this is a no brainer. It's Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Tommy, what do you think? Um, I do love all Star Trek, and and this particular series I do love as well. But Forrest Gump bulldozes over this one. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, Moose, what do you think? Gump. Yeah, Gump. Gump. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Austin, this is yeah. This was tougher than you might think for that. I, I really like that 09 Star Trek movie like a lot. I, I go back to it quite a bit. The the score is great. The, I like the look of the movie. Uh, the opening ten minutes with Chris Hemsworth is awesome. With George Kirk is is really good. Um, but yeah, Forrest Gump is another one along with Shawshank that kept TBS and TNT uh, on Sunday afternoons and kept the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the it was like the afternoon lineup on Sunday afternoon was always Forrest Gump, Shawshank, and Jaws. That was like the <laughs> weekend lineup yeah, yeah. Uh, all the time. So uh, but yeah, I'll vote Forrest Gump. That yeah, sounds good. Yeah, Forrest Gump's awesome. Like I think that it that uh, that definitely. Deserves the Oscar over Shawshank. I'm in that camp. There's a debate to be hidden behind because they, they were both nominated in the same year. But and and uh, the Star Trek remake, that's great. Like I think they did a, a great job. It's probably my my favorite one that they've done so far uh, of this new uh, series. But but uh, yeah, uh, Forrest Gump just it blew me away. Like my favorite scene always has to be when he meets JFK. And he drinks all the Dr. Peppers, and he's like, "I have to pay." He just tells him that when he goes to shake his hand or whatever. So yeah, but but uh, it's a fun character that just kind of shows you, like, even from from characters that may not seem the the brightest. I mean, there's a lot you can learn from everybody out there from any like walk of life. So so yeah, I'll go for Scum. <clears throat> but Ryan, uh, even though it's not moving on, uh, Star Trek for me would be my vote. I for Scum to me was okay. Um, I, I was very apprehensive about Star Trek when it was announced because, you know, you're talking about Kirk and Spock. It's hard to replace those two, but they did an amazing job with Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto. Uh, so I, it's not going to move on to Star Trek for me over Forrest Gump. So. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and also another great Simon Pegg movie too, I'll say for Star mm -hmm. Trek. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But Forrest Gump is moving on. So, uh, well, next we have the nice guys. Go to the Goonies. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. And Tommy is up first on this one. Yeah. Um, both are great movies. Uh, what do you like? Goonies is, yeah. <laughs> Goonies is definitely a childhood 
nostalgic movie. Nice Guys is the new one, but uh, appreciated it, saw it, and was good. But uh, for me, it's the Goonies. Yeah. Uh, Moose, what do you think? Goonies is a very nostalgic movie for me. Um, I think for both of us, but uh, we just had a brief conversation and we both agree the nice guys is awesome. We're going to the nice guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Um, Austin? Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't have that nostalgia thing with the Goonies like a lot of people did. I, I didn't come to it till my 20s. So like, I don't I don't have that connection. So it's just one of those things like I, I do enjoy it. It's fun. Um, yeah, I think in this one, I'll go with the nice guys. And if you guys will excuse me, I got to go question the mermaids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. There you go. Come on. If you get it, you get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the nice guys like a movie that uh, that really surprised me when it came out with how much that I liked it. Like it was a lot of fun. Just uh, uh, Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, they have great chemistry, and and just seeing uh, uh, Russell Crowe uh, as the enforcer, just going around breaking people's arms and all that kind of stuff. That's a, a fun time. Just kind of throwing out some funny kind of one-liners here and there. But but I mean, yeah, the Goonies is a very nostalgic movie for me too. That like, I grew up watching the. Uh, Goonies, it's a lot of fun to see um, um, Hui Ki Kwan come back for for everything, everywhere, all at once. We haven't seen that movie. I just wanted to to shut that movie out because he came back to acting for that. And and um, uh, Hui Ki Kwan, he's he plays Data in the, the uh, Goonies. Is who that is? But but uh, who's my favorite character? But but yeah, uh, the Goonies is just a, a super fun adventure movie. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna vote for the Goonies. So. This is my early prediction for the next Indiana Jones movie, but my prediction is he will be back as short round in the next. Oh yeah, movie. <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. awesome. I'll be down for that, but but uh, Ryan, uh, you know, for me, it's gonna be the Goonies. Uh, childhood type stuff growing up. I love this movie. I love every single actor in that movie who went on to do amazing things after it. Um, Sean Astin, especially, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Goonies for me, hands down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I hear the music too, like it gives me all the feels from the Goonies. So yeah. <laughs> but but uh, Renee. Okay. Um, I don't feel one way or the other about this, but I don't get the nice guys. I watched it because it was on my brother's list. It was chaotic. The story was <laughs> all over the place. Yes. Like I ended it and I was like, I don't understand this movie. So in, because of that, I'm gonna choose Goonies. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, four to two. It is. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've got a couple of matches left on this side. So we've got Back Ooh. to the Future going up against the Untouchables. Ooh. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. So, All right, Moose first. Here first. <laughs> yep. First. Back to the Future against the Untouchables. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I like the untouchables. I know. I love Back to the Future. I do too. Uh, <laughs> shoot, <laughs> this is a tough one. <laughs> uh, it's split. We come back to you again if you want. But <laughs> split vote. <laughs> I know you're never <laughs> supposed to bring a gun. I mean, a knife to a gunfight. That's right. Yep. <laughs> the Untouchables taught us anything. Yeah. Um, so we never do. All right. Because, <laughs> because he knows that, we're going to go with The Untouchables. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, Austin? The Untouchables is a, is a weird one for me. I, I've... I've watched it like three times, and all all the pieces are there, but for whatever reason, it's never really clicked with me. I don't I don't know why. Like I've I've tried, it's just never gotten over that mark for me. I, I don't know why. I, I but I give it a chance about once a year. Um, I mean every everything's there. The cast is great. Um, you know the filmmaking is good. I just I don't know what it is. It's it's never really clicked for me. Um, so I'll go back to the future on this one. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, the Back to the Future, I'll say it's in my top 10 movies of all time. I, I'm a massive Back to the Future fan. So I, I was Marty McFly at, at a Comic-Con, and I met Christopher Lloyd and got a picture with him, which is freaking amazing. But um, but The Untouchables I watched for the first time about three days ago. And, and like, like, I'm kind of with you, Austin. Like, it didn't really click for me. Like, a lot of it 
felt kind of campy to me. Like it's just kind of like the gangster movie with Al Capone and everything. But but there's just some like real campiness to me that just doesn't really really fit. Like it's got some weird kind of tracking shots and kind of zooms like slow zooms in, <laughs> slow zooms out. A lot of it just like you can feel that it's on a set. It just didn't really feel like 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 very realistic to me. Like I just like it's a product of of its time for me. Uh, it's probably the uh, one of the best ways to uh, put it. But um, uh, the music's done by, and I always butcher his name, but it's the guy who did the music for uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, like a Nini. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, that was cool, but at the same time, like, some of the music just didn't really fit. Like, it just, I don't know, to me, like, what it, uh, for whatever, it might be more of a personal thing. I don't know. But, but Back to the Future is just, like, Michael J. Fox is my favorite actor of all time. I love all the the time travel stuff, like the Chapman of the Sea stuff, the stuff with like Biff, with like like just from beginning to end. It's almost like a near masterpiece of, of a movie for me. And I'm not a huge Robert Zemeckis fan of a lot of the of his other movies, but Back to the Future, man, like yeah, that movie is just uh, just means a lot to me. So yeah, I'm gonna vote Back to the Future. So, but Ryan. Uh- I love The Untouchables. Such a great gangster movie, Al Capone type style. I love that era. It's great. But Back to the Future was such an underdog type movie too. I mean, the fact that Michael J. Fox wasn't even the original uh, Marty McFly, the fact they shot things without him. And then he comes in and makes this movie memorable and legendary forever. Uh, So Back to the Future for me. (laughs) Yeah. And you had it right, Malcolm. I was going to say that I was talking so much about the Untouchables, but then yeah, yeah, we all know what you're about anyways. Yeah, regardless, yeah. So I could have just said back to the future and ended it there, but yeah. (laughs) But anyways, Renee, um, I don't know what you guys are talking about (laughs) because, (laughs) like, when you're talking about the Untouchables, I'm like dying because, like, when I first saw this movie, like, we were raised by parents, like, we grew up on movies and like, like old school movies and stuff. So the Untouchables was something we watched. Like, I remember like crying and having like, like tear marks down my face. I like get burned because of the, the, the relationship between Sean Connery and Kevin Costner in this movie to me is like, makes the movie like perfection. So I respect what you have to say, but I shall not agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the relationship between them is great. I will admit that. But yeah, I, I don't dislike the movie. It's just never clicked as like like one of those movies that go back to like I, I don't know. It's just never really clicked over for me. That's all. And I, think I don't dislike cinema- the movie. Yeah, for me, I think it's like sentimental. So I don't mean to be rude, but I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're fine. No, <laughs> no you're good. <laughs> but uh, Tommy, Tommy, what do you think? All right, I'm going to quote the movie, and you guys decide which one it is. <laughs> the Libyans! <laughs> Back to the future. Come on. That's my Come pick. On. Thank you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Great movie. Uh, right. Both are great, but the Back to the Future. Uh, nope. All of yeah. them. All of them. I'll take mm-hmm. all of them over the Untouchables. <laughs> it's Back to the Future, right? Yeah, yeah, back to the future four to two. Yep. Okay. Yeah, still cool. no ties yet. We'll see. Yeah, still no ties. So yeah, surprising. But uh-huh. but we have Jurassic Park dun, dun. going up against Ooh, Galaxy Quest. Ooh, Galaxy Quest. Oh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that could be a tough one. <laughs> yeah, <Ooh>. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um Yeah, I'm first. Uh yeah, um, this is tough because uh, you know, yeah, I, I have to go Jurassic Park, but I will say the Galaxy Quest is awesome. It, it's a it's a great homage to to both sci fi and Star Trek and all that stuff. And, and yeah, it gets better every time I watch it. Um, but I mean, Jurassic Park's like in my top ten of all time. Like it's it's just the best. So um, yeah, I have to go Jurassic Park. But no disrespect, to Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest is, is really good. If it if it had Galaxy Quest up against the Untouchables, I'd vote for Galaxy Quest. I'll just say that. So, <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so uh, not too long ago, they did a documentary for Galaxy Quest. It actually showed on the big screen while I was working at a movie theater. And it's produced by Screen Junkies. So if anyone who's familiar, they had like like Scott Mance and Hal Rudnick and some of those guys showed up in, in it. But it was at the movie theater – and I start seeing all these guys dressed up as these really nerdy, kind of weird-looking guys. I'm like, "What is this going on?" And they're just like the like, like aliens that 
talk like this like how are you today yeah. like yeah. like those aliens i was like what's going on because i totally didn't know that they're showing that this documentary so that was fun to see it on the big screen and with like a lot of diehard fans and but uh the movie galaxy quest itself it is a lot of fun like it like uh just seeing like uh like Tim Allen up there with Sigourney Weaver and and Alan Rickman and Tony Shalhoub, all those guys. Like it's a great cast that like works really well together. And but I mean Jurassic Park, like you're talking mm-hmm. one of my top five movies of all time. Like Jurassic Park, that is like an amazing like achievement that that was groundbreaking for its time and it still holds up to this day. Like the uh, the effects, everything, and like I'm over the moon excited for the the uh, Jurassic World dominion coming out for number one most anticipated of the year like yeah that'll be their opening day for sure but but yeah uh, the original address at park i remember that like uh, it's also one of my most memorable th- uh, theater going experiences after my my dad saw in the and uh lived in a little small town in utah called draper and we and like he went to go see it in a little one screen movie theater with my mom and they came back and they were raving about it so uh, they told me that I had to go see it, so I went to go see it. And the next day, I snuck out without telling them I was only ten years old, and I went to go see it without telling them. And they wondering where the heck that I went, and they were like panicking, been like, "Where'd he go? Like, what happened?" And then uh, when I came back, I just told them I went to see the movie again because it was that good. So, uh, yeah, Jurassic Park for me easily. <laughs> but, uh, but Ryan, what, what all right. So, of all the of all the movies so far in this thing, I'll say these two movies right here are the most Haas things I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> most yeah. Haas memories I will ever have. Yes. Um, as a kid, yeah. Mark, ha- Moose always talked about Jurassic Park nonstop. He was obsessed with the movie, obsessed with the book. Uh, so, you know, even today when we play video games to get together, we have our own little thing we call Clever Girl. It's a little move we do when we play. So it's, mm-hmm. it's in our lexicon. It's there. Galaxy Quest, my Uncle George, quoted this movie probably for like years straight <laughs> when it came out. Nonstop. Mm-hmm. I, uh, it, Every time I heard it, I thought of him. But Jurassic Park um, is um, one of the greatest movies ever. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so I'm going to have to give it to Jurassic Park on this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Renee? Um, it's so true, Ryan. This movie, Galaxy Quest is my dad, 100%. He quotes that stupid movie all the time. <laughs> is this the one that he goes, never give up, never, never surrender? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I love it because it reminds me of my dad. Uh, so I'm going to choose that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tommy? Uh, uh, yeah, same thing. That uh, this movie was sneaky good, and it became <laughs> kind of that cult following after it was releasing, you know, in theaters or or however you want to put it. But uh, again, one of those family nostalgic movies. But <laughs> can't go against Jurassic Park. Not a chance. It's a top five movie for me as well. And that is, yeah. you know, that's the holy grail right there, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Moose. The Galaxy mm-hmm. Quest on this list is definitely a love letter to my father. Uh, <laughs> we watched this movie over and over and over. It, yeah. I actually really love that movie, but I do like Jurassic Park. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll decide with this quote. They're moving in herds. They yep. <laughs> They do yeah. move. They do move. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Renee. Well, Jurassic Park, it is. You did it. You crazy son of a yeah. bitch. You did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, so real works. quick, real quick, Moose. Did I ever tell you about when I, when, when my mom and I saw this at an outdoor like screening at a brewery, and the sound was horrendous, and and I told her, don't worry about it. I'll recite the whole movie for you. So and I did, <laughs> <laughs> and I word for word recited the inter- like we sat way in the back, so we weren't bothering anybody. I recited the entire movie for her. All we could hear was the music because like the the mix of the whatever they had on the speakers, like you could barely hear the dialogue, but you could hear the music and like the sound effects. And uh, so I was like, no problem, I got you, <laughs> and just proceeded to quote the whole movie. <laughs> it was pretty great. That's impressive yeah. to accomplish that while at a brewery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 While I was drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, up next we have. 
Temple of Doom. One strand there, of there, all three of them. Billions of strands of DNA. The building blocks yeah. of life. <laughs> no, I, was just, I was even doing the DNA speech. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but yeah, but. Up against Nacho Libre. Uh, easy. Uh, <laughs> oh, easy. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jordan. Come up first. So, like, mm-hmm. I will just preference with a quick thing is that is that my my cousin, so he was in Napoleon Dynamite, the previous movie from this director. So he grew up best friends with the with the director of Nacho Libre, Jared Hess, because I live in, in in Idaho, like less than an hour away from where Napoleon was was filmed. So I have been over to Jared Hess's house at the time, though, like it was before Napoleon, all that stuff. So I had no idea what what what, what would become of, of him. But but uh, and Nacho Libre, a lot of fun to to uh, 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 quote. And they're like like these. This is the worst lunch I've ever had. Don't you realize that I've had diarrhea since last Easter's? Like, there's so much, there's so many hilarious quotes, but but, but uh, and also Moose, I'm glad that that you're an appreciator of Nacho Libre because I'm having a harder and harder time finding people who, who actually enjoy this uh, movie. But I uh, have a lot of love for it. But but I mean, Indiana Jones and the Temple of, of Doom is just an amazing uh, movie, and and like kind of like. Like Austin said earlier, like the last forty minutes might be one of the best like like adventure movies of all time. It's just so so good. Even the stuff leading up to it's really really solid. So I got to go Temple of Doom. So, <clears throat> but Ryan, Jack Black has one good movie, and it's School of Rock. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, Indiana Jones Temple of Doom is my number one favorite. Indiana Jones movie, hands down. Cali Ma, like I just how love how dark. Come on, that movie. Shit you did. Uh, right, Come you on, know that whole part of the movie. I know it gets some hate. It gets a lot of hate for how they treated uh, Kate in the movie and all that fun stuff. Whatever, but the movie outside of that, the last forty minutes, the story, amazing. Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Yeah. Renee, okay. what do you think? Um, I. Nacho Libre was a movie I only watched maybe like two years ago. I had never watched mm-hmm. it before. Um, I have a soft spot for Jack Black because he reminds me of my brother Tommy. Right. <laughs> nice, nice. First time hearing this. This is humor. Like he's crazy like that. I love Nacho Libre. I think it's so funny. It's so like you watch it and you feel so happy. You know, like there's so much like joy in that movie oh i just love it so for me uh, yeah my um yeah and like all the music yeah oh yeah it's yep. so great <laughs> it's good stuff mm-hmm. well tommy, uh, tommy uh, yeah i mean they couldn't be more opposites right it's... temple of Doom, <laughs> and then nacho libre like she said but uh, it's hard for me to go against indy because i love him so much so i'm going indy yeah <laughs> yeah uh, Moose, what do you think? Uh, I'm good with either. <laughs> well, of these two, which one do you like better? Uh, I love Nacho Libre. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones is good too. <laughs> this one's tough because Indiana is one of those you have waited to see. Yeah. And you always watch an Indiana Jones movie. I love Nacho Libre. Love, like, genuinely yeah. love. Nacho Libre. I can sit there and then I'll like quote the little like, hey, send me a piece of that corn before like the line. Comes yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, there's so many like quotable fun lines from Nacho Libre. Indiana Jones is Indiana Jones. I mean, I could honestly go either way. I of the Indiana Joneses, Temple of Doom is probably my least favorite. Um, and I think that there's two other Indiana Joneses that are better that are still in contention but i'll i'll leave this one up to papa haas my vote would be nacho libre uh let's go with nacho libre nacho yes. yeah dad good job good job <laughs> ignacio yeah <laughs> but austin what, what do you think oh this was easy it's temple of doom because i don't know <laughs> <Nacho Libre. laughs> yeah. so, yeah. uh and and i i, I you know i, I I, I don't think it's terribly funny, but I also just as a person who's been in the professional wrestling business for 16 years, I think it kind of disrespects professional wrestling. Um, 
I, I, I like I don't I don't I don't like the way it portrays that anybody can just jump into the ring and start doing that. Like that's that's disrespectful uh, to the what people. Who Ram Dash. Ram Dash is a real life so, wrestler. Sorry. Yeah, Ram Dash. I, I just sorry. That's the way I feel about that movie. I don't like it. So Temple of Doom. <laughs> gets yeah. <my> vote. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, what are the votes at? I'm just curious. Uh, four to two for Temple of Doom. Okay. Of Doom. Let me win yeah, a tie. Still but, but no. Okay. Nope. Okay. Still no ties. No. Still not yet. Well, no eagle powers for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> none. But we have Goodfellas up against Avengers Endgame. All right. Okay. All right, uh, Ryan. Ryan. Oh, Avengers Endgame, hands down. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> probably my second favorite Marvel movie of all time. Boss uh, is going to tell a story that's going to just embarrass the hell out of me, so it's fine. But let's move on. <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Renee? Yeah, Renee. Um, Adventures in Game. That's all. Draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice draw. <laughs> that is all, yeah. Uh, Tommy. Yeah, I mean, uh, Goodfellas is a good movie, but, you know, I didn't really love it like everyone else loved it, so, but I did love Avengers, so, end game. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Moose, what do you think? So the first time I saw Avengers Endgame was in Vegas. Here we go. <laughs> with story. my dear cousin Ryan. And he had seen it the night before and knew everything that was going to be happening in the movie. Within the first three minutes after Hawkeye's children were snapped, I looked over at my beloved cousin Ryan with tears streaming down his face. I had to ask him the obvious, didn't you see this movie last night? You knew this was going to happen. His response was, it's still sad. Yeah, right. <laughs> still <laughs> sad. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, Austin? All right. Well, get your get your whiteboard ready, Moose, because I don't like Avengers Endgame. <laughs> I've made this clear right. as well. I, I don't like the follow up to it, which is weird because I love Infinity War. I don't like Endgame. Uh, I think it's I think it's kind of boring to be honest. Till about the last hour, um, I don't like the developments, the time travel, the Fat Thor, all that stuff. I hate it. I hate all that stuff. So this is the easy Goodfellas for me because Goodfellas is like a top twenty movie for me. So uh, yeah, mark it on the board. Go ahead because <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get about this one. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you yeah, like Fat go. Thor? I got my Fat Thor like little pop figure. No. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Thor for life. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Avengers Endgame is awesome. Like, no matter how many times did I see it, like, like, and, like, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it, but you can turn the volume down. But, uh, like, when when Tony Stark dies, like, man, that, that still gets me every time. And I know it's coming. I know it's coming. But it, but still, it gets me every single time. And, like, there's a lot of things people complain about. They say, oh, that doesn't make sense that – they're like Ant Man, he just comes out of the quantum realm because of a rat, and then they, they discover time travel in like a day, and then they, they go back, and it's not that interesting. But it, it's like a, it's a comic book movie, like you, you're supposed to turn your, your uh, brain off and just have fun. You get all the fun battle scenes, it's it, like it's not supposed to make, make perfect logical sense, but it makes sense in the comic book y type of world. And, and so, uh, just seeing all the characters, like, like how they deal with the snap, and like that, and like everybody coming back, and like. And then uh, they all get a team up uh, against Thanos, which we got kind of the best of both worlds because you get Infinity War where, where Thanos actually wins. And then you get him uh, coming back for revenge where you can see every single character team up. I mean, like there's a scene to make you cry. There's a scene to make you stand up and, and, and cheer. I mean, Captain America wielding the, the uh, Mjolnir is, is like a stand up and cheer moment or like on your left when all the – the characters come out of the portals and, and all that stuff like like it's just so so good and yeah like uh yeah avengers endgame i mean yeah, as good fellas i'm not gonna get into it but i mean good fellas is great i'll just I'll, just, I'll just say that but but i mean not as great as avengers endgame so so here's my defense in the naysayers who will like dismiss the like oh the rat incident with scott lang a rat yeah. stepping on this one button Okay, there was one reality in 14,605. I know that number because I had to memorize that number. It's 14,605 <laughs> yeah. different realities that Dr. Strange saw, right? And, this, and there was only one where everything went right, okay? And they won. So it makes sense that in this one reality, the rat walking across would hit the button to deliver Scott Lang out of the quantum zone. 
Mic drop. Yep. Yeah, oh, it, it makes sense as a exactly. it makes sense as a convenient plot device. Mike drop. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love I love Haas that my mom is roasting Good me math. in the chat right now. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh, is your mom in the chat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. Is that her? Dila. Yeah, Dila. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Dila. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's good. Well, it's going to be an Avengers <laughs> Endgame. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, Theo. Nice. <laughs> I, right. I cry. I cry. What can I say? Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, grown, grown man do cry, but but we have oh, Princess this Bride. Be, this will be fun. Yeah. All right, Renee. Um, I've never seen Boondock Saints. <laughs> <laughs> But Princess Bride, like the lines that we quoted in junior high constantly about it, it just is nostalgia to me. I really do think it's a really good movie. I love just, you know, of course, I love that it all ends and wraps up happily in a nice bow. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Tommy? Uh, well, I have seen both. And, um, man, The Princess Bride is one of the greatest movies that's ever been made. Andre the Giant. I mean, that's all you need to say. So, Princess Bride. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Moose? Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, Princess Bride, for sure. Stop rhyming. I mean it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anybody want a peanut? Yeah. Princess yeah, Bride. So. Yeah. It's the greatest movie ever made. Yep. One yeah. of the greatest movies ever made. One of them. Yeah. Yep. But. Boston. All right. So a couple of things real quick. Moose, uh, Boondock Saints. I'm a big fan. Uh, I, this is very blurry, so you're not going to be able to see it because I had to scan it in off of an 8x10. But uh, I have a picture of myself being executed by the Boondock oh, nice. Saints at a convention oh, nice. <laughs> uh, with prop guns. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that's me there. I know oh, it's hard to see because it's blurry. And Sean Patrick Fannery, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the cast. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, sure. no. and, uh, and my actual 8x10 is signed by all of them. Also, I won at the same convention at a VIP event. We did a raffle, and I've got them up here, so I'm going to reach them real quick. Uh, they're up on my mantle by my fireplace. These two guys, <laughs> these are the McManus <laughs> brothers. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the brothers, these, these guys, this one uh, dude at the convention makes these like, you know, little doll things or whatever. And uh, my parents, of course, think they're super creepy, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but yeah, they uh, they watch over my uh, my condo. So yeah, the Boondock nice. Saints protect their condo. So I'll vote for the Boondock That's Saints. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, so the Princess Bride was my my ex wife's favorite movie of all time, and, and we're still friends. And so, she, so that movie has a big place in my heart. Like, like we had uh, Princess Bride stuff all over our apartment. Like, I got her this huge, like, massive uh, blanket that that covered our, our bed. There was all these different things from the Princess Bride. Like that movie's just. Uh, so much fun. I actually met Carrie Elwes at a convention, and and um, at his panel, uh, there's this guy who was in a wheelchair. He wanted him to to do the to like quote back and forth the uh, the whole like 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 uh, a poison drink game between him and Vincini, and like go back and forth. But the, but he's like, well, that the movie was like 30 years ago. I don't remember all the, all the lines. He had the script with them and brought it up. And he gave it to him, and they, and they quoted it. Uh, 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 back and forth and it's so much fun to see him do that and and to see how enthusiasm or, or how much enthusiasm that this kid had uh doing it with with carrie elwes and and yeah like what's not to love like it's a great fantasy movie it's a great love story there's an action there's there's like swashbuckling sword under the giant like you guys said that's great so my vote's gonna go to princess bride um however i watched boondock saints for the first time uh yesterday uh in preparation for this and it's a lot of fun. Like I'm a big Norman Reedus fan. I watched The Walking Dead and and, and all that. And and it's fun seeing them as the the, um, the executioners. I do feel like the movie might be kind of like a product of its time. I just yeah. feel like like maybe I didn't like 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 see a good 4K quality. I don't even know if it's even available in, in, in 4K. The but, but the version I watched through streaming seemed really blurry and like out of focus and like like I don't know like it went. Uh, for whatever reason, it looked like I was watching on a VHS or something. So I need to find maybe a, a better 
uh, a copy of it and, and give it a rewatch. But uh, like even for the poster, I couldn't find like a real in focus poster. I don't I don't know what like what that was all about. So yeah, I'm gonna vote for Princess Bride. <laughs> but uh, Ryan, uh, I love. I love the Boondock Saints. Willem Dafoe in that movie is oh, yeah. amazing. Just amazing. Oh, He's there great. was yeah. a firefight. You know, and so I wore this shirt to, for this. For this reason alone is I speak fluent movie quotes because a lot of these movies, I'm going to have to, that's where I'm going to vote vote on. And Boondock Saints yeah. had some great lines. Obviously, the prayer, everyone knows it, whatever. Yeah. But Princess Bride had so many. And Mandy Patinkus was just amazing in that role. So Princess Bride for me. Wait, you mean Montoya. Inigo Montoya? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep, yep. Did he kill your father? Are you prepared to die? Yeah. <laughs> or like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like Billy Crystal is like the wizard. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. And he keeps calling it the witch. You know? <laughs> yeah. Miracle Max. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, did everybody vote? I don't want to leave anyone out. I'm forgetting. Yeah, yeah, everybody voted. Okay. Yeah, so my Princess All right. Bride. Yeah. All right, Princess Bride. My, my, dolls my dolls did not. My dolls did not even sway yeah. moose. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so that'll be the end of the first round. So now. We like to say that it's time to fly now. So in the next round, we already got all the pleasantries out of the way. All the I, I will say, and- if anybody needs like a restroom break or something, this would be a really good time because we fly through these next brackets. So yeah. if anybody needs to do that, this would be a really good time to do so. But everybody, yeah, right. We could take like a little halftime like sort of thing, and uh, if anybody needs to, that's fine, and then we'll fly yeah, through yeah. these. Okay, so, let's see if it's the next matchup. We'll do a little recap. Of mm-hmm. of Uncle Buck versus Tombstone will be the next one we have, but yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, well, Ryan, I have I have that same shirt just in a red version, by the way. I have that oh, exact nice. same shirt. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. We get I heard, Austin, that you had seen every single movie on the list. <laughs> yeah, no, I've seen all these movies. So yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ryan, what is that in your hand? It's an Iron Man Magic Eight Ball type thing. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Oh, so. nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get confused. I'm gonna be using this. You gotta get my mouth. Ball, yeah. On my phone, I have a little coin flipping app that I use. <laughs> Look at you. From time to time. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but right, but so come on, Haas, right there. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> my boy. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Hey, while while we're paused here, I just want a, a current event. Uh, one of my top sixty four favorite movies, Tremors. Uh, rest in peace, per, uh, Fred Ward. Oh, yeah. Passed away oh, today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, my my boy from up. Tremors. Uh, anybody who knows me knows Tremors is like top three favorite yeah. movies for me of all time. Uh, yeah, I, I love that movie. And uh, yeah, Val and Earl. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that sucks. Sad. Yeah, Fred 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 you, Ward. That really sucks. So Rainbow yeah, Williams was a was a hospital. The adventure begins. Favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We watched that movie quite a bit when the uh, when his master at the end of the movie runs across the water. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. <laughs> reminded me today he's uh, he was Joe Dirt's dad <laughs> in Joe Dirt, <laughs> which I forgot about. Was he? Yeah, really. Uh-huh. I'll tell you what, though, he yeah. was seventy nine years old uh, yeah. when he passed today. But dude, that guy aged. Wow. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, not, yeah. He was like he was like sixty when they did Tremors and he still looked great. So. Yeah, he, he's one of those guys who looked in his fifties for like ever. He just yeah. like looked yeah. the same <laughs> for a long time. Kind of like a Tommy Lee Jones. He just always kind of looked that age. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just wanted to say that while we were paused. Uh, rest in peace, Fred Ward. I love you, man. I love Tremors. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But one of the things we like to do too is like we always like to to tell. So Moose, it's your list. Whichever movie wins tonight, immediately when we wrap up here, you got to put it on and you got to watch it. Whichever one wins. Okay? Oh, okay. So it goes. <laughs> no, you don't really have or, to. Or or or, or if it's available on the plane, you got to watch it on the plane ride. Yeah, so we'll watch it on the plane. I got an early flight, but don't there threaten you. me with a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we'll see if. Uh, if uh, any of Moose's uh, real top fives or whatever maybe uh, wins the whole thing, we still don't know what they are yet, but uh, yeah. we'll see what happens. Uh, we're just waiting for Tommy because he actually, in the order, has to vote first. So we're waiting for Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. But basically, um, uh, how it works for anybody on the panel, I know 
Ryan's done it before. Moose has done it before. Renee, how it works basically these, these when we're getting to the finish here, like we we kick it into turbo like ten seconds or less, like literally your gut. You just got to go quick, you know, one or the other. Ten yeah, seconds, yeah. like okay. so. It's that this is this is where the stress is going to really yeah, kick yeah, in. Yeah, the, the, like, the, the uh, fun, uh, the fun stress for, of the uh, show. Uh, yeah, uh, when uh, when you're presented and it's like, oh no, I got to make a decision quick. That that's kind of how it works. So we're gonna go okay. really really fast. <laughs> So we can wrap the show up, but this is the fun part of the show where we really like kick it, kick it into overdrive. So uh, hopefully Tommy comes back soon, and we can get it. Otherwise, we can just skip him for now, and we'll come around to him and see if he gets here. Um, oh, there he is. Right. Sorry about that. There guys. he is. No, it's all good. good. Uh, I'm 43, Tommy, but my bladder first. is like 90. No, okay, you're good. <laughs> so I was just uh, telling Renee, anybody who hasn't been on the show before, um, we're kicking it into overdrive. So literally, like, this is like your gut, like 10 seconds or less. You got to, like, just fire all out right. a boat. You know what I mean? This is a, we're yeah. going to plow to the finish uh, with these inner brackets since we all kind of got our thoughts out about the movies. So this is the fun, the fun, stressful part of the show <laughs> where we're going to we're gonna oh, have man. a little fun. So, all right. So you're first, yeah. sir. And uh, we'll remind everybody who's listening uh, uncle buck versus tombstone is our first matchup in the second round so tommy you're up first yeah uncle buck all yeah. right uncle buck moose, moose. Uh, uncle buck yeah uh, uncle oh, awesome. buck for me as well yeah uh yeah i gotta go uncle buck <laughs> Ryan. uncle buck all right. yeah uncle buck uncle buck yeah all right clean sweep for buck sweep. you be yeah, all right you be. You be. That's Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got the Dark Knight up against Inglorious Bastards. Ooh, all right. All right. Yeah, Moose, you're uh, first. Uh, Dark Knight yeah. or Inglorious Bastards? Glorious. Huh. Dark Knight? Yeah. Dark Knight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, it's a favorite on here, but for a reason, I'll go Dark Knight. Mm, man, this one's tough. Ten seconds or less. Uh, Dark Knight, sure. Ryan, the Dark Knight. Yeah. Uh, Dark Knight. Yeah. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Yeah. Okay. Well, we had two clean, sweet movies, so that might make for a next uh, interesting matchup next round. So, yeah, right. Both <laughs> of them had clean sweeps. It's going to be a little more contentious yeah. next one. We'll see. Yep. Uh, all right, Ghostbusters Afterlife versus Tommy Boy. Oh, Tommy Boy. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Um, Do you first all right. Person, right. Yeah, I got to go with the one I've seen like dozens of times, Tommy Boy. Yeah, I got to go with Tommy Boy pretty easily here. Probably Tommy Boy. Right? It, it, it has to be Tommy Boy. Yeah. Um, Tommy Boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> A Tommy? Tommy boy. Yeah, Tommy boy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Moose. Does this shirt make me look fat? No, your face does. Tommy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tommy boy. <laughs> face Is that a clip yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a clip on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish we all knew that Spanish song that they were singing to, and we could all sing it at the same time. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know the other like, don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? Yeah, oh, baby, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a good movie. Damn it. Yeah. All right, the sting. Up against True Grit. True Grit. Okay. All right, Jordan. Uh, I gotta go with the sting. I think. Right. True Grit for me. Yeah. Uh, right. The Sting. The Sting for me. The Sting. Yeah. All right. Favorite uh, yeah. all-time movie, The Sting. Yep. Yeah. Favorite all-time movie, yep. Yeah. <laughs> the Sting. All right, Moose? Moose. The Sting. Yeah. Austin. All right. Uh, I would have gone Trick Grit, uh, but The okay. Sting is going to take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sting it is. All right. Okay. We got Ghostbusters going up against Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Ryan. Oh, it's Ghostbusters. Like, hands down. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tommy? Uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Moose? Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. They're Ghostbusters. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Austin? You smell that? 
Ghostbusters. <laughs> One of my favorite subtle lines that nobody gets in the theater. <laughs> you smell that? <laughs> what a yeah, great yeah. line. <laughs> I think by a little bit, I would have gone Winter Soldier. It's just like top probably three MCU for me. So. All right. All right. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is going to take it. All right. Yeah. All right. We got see Raiders, the Raiders. versus the Great Outdoors. Raiders versus Great Outdoors. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Renee. Uh, the Great Outdoors. Yeah. All right. Tommy. Uh, Tommy. Uh, I'm going Raiders. Yeah. Dude, Moose. Great Outdoors. Uh, we'll go Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> Um, awesome. uh, I'm gonna go Raiders as well, and I think I would go Raiders. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, Raiders all day. Yeah. All right. Well, Raiders okay. the Lost Ark. It is Raiders. Yeah. I still got Uncle Buck. Right. Yeah. yeah, you still yeah, got Uncle Buck. Yeah, going up against Guardians of the Galaxy. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Two yeah. sort of. Yeah, Star Warsy kind of movies. Yeah, one's actual Star yeah. Wars, and the one's sort of like Star Wars. Uh, yeah. Tommy, <laughs> go first. Yeah, um, one of them I saw when I was literally under ten years old. I can't remember what age, um, and was <laughs> you know one of the most thrilling moments of my life. Uh, the other one is one of my favorite MCU movies, but I gotta go with the uh, the Old Faithful Empire. Yeah, Moose. 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 What go? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing my heart. It's my heart. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. Yeah. Austin? Uh, Empire. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Guardians. <laughs> right? Right. Oh, so since Mark almost used this at his wedding, I really wished he would have. He almost used one of the songs from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so I'm gonna pick Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, and I wish you would have, because that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the chat, people are saying Guardians, mm. but then other people are saying Empire, so it's split. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Alice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. All right, all right, Renee. What do you think? Renee. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. All right. Ooh. All right. Guardians so is gonna Guardians. take out Star Wars. Yeah, Guardians. Yeah. Game's on. All right. There you go. Okay, step brothers step up brother. next. We're gonna mention yeah. Shawshank. Shawshank. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's happening. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Total polar right. showering. Yeah, over. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Moose. Y'all gotta y'all gotta go first. Oh, what do you think? We're up first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're first. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Decision. Yeah, we're gonna go step brothers all the way. <laughs> yeah. Austin? You know what? Just for fun, I'm gonna go Step Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And I too am gonna go for Step Brothers. You touch my drum set? Right. No. No. Say <laughs> watch Neho. Come on, Shawshank. Say watch Neho. Nice one, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I freaking love Shawshank Redemption like no other. So it's Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, deciding Tommy? vote, Tommy. Um. <laughs> Step Brothers. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Step Brothers with the upset. Yeah. <laughs> Takes it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I thought we were going to have our first I thought we were going to have our first tie there, but we didn't. Yeah, yeah right. Still didn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> no tie yeah, All yeah, right. right. So that's the end we'll of that. Let's the other side. All right. So Can you just let everybody know it? So the Elite 8 of this poll we were in a group over on, on, on Facebook called Schwinn on Friends and, and, and Family. We're going to put the Elite Eight over there for a poll for the community so they can vote on what they think of our Elite Eight. So that'll be awesome. Fun, so. Yeah, yeah, we'll but, get to that. All right, yeah. here we go. Return of the Jedi yeah. versus Hot Fuzz on this oh, side. Oh, no. Um, Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm a, well, I'll give you about three seconds, Jordan, because I'm going to go Hot Fuzz on this one. So now it's your turn. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I think I gotta go return of the Jedi. So we just gotta take this shirt off now, I guess. But <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, Ryan. Ryan. The haters on that ship. Give me some Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Renee? I've never Renee. seen Hot Fuzz, so I'm gonna go Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tommy. 
Uh, I'm basing it off of what I would want to watch right now, and that's Hot Fuzz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's how you got to do it. Moose. Moose. Hot Fuzz is awesome, but I have to have a Star Wars movie that advances. So Return of the Jedi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So Return of the Jedi. Let's move Damn on. it. Okay. What's that one with Jar Jar Binks? Should have put that one in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not so much. You can leave any time, Tommy boy. I, I thought yeah, Moose yeah. would have had that. We should have had that Clone Wars movie from like 2008 on here somewhere. Oh, yeah, Clone yeah. Wars. Yeah, we should do a Clone Wars episode fight. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah but, but Deadpool versus the Burbs. Oh, All right, yeah. Jordan. You're up first. Well, I'm going to vote Deadpool, but I'd like to see Deadpool, one of the neighbors in that Burbs neighborhood. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but, but yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool, hands down. All right. Yeah. All right. Renee? Yeah. Hello, Miss Lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going with the birds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good job. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. 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 We have an Aunt Pam, by the way, and we did this to her nice on family yeah. reunion a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the whole Pam yeah. Pam thing, we did it to her. And, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tommy. Uh, All right, Tommy. I'm going the burbs. I'm going the burbs. Yeah. All right. Moose. Uh, we're gonna call Rumsfeld and uh, tell him that we voted for the Burbs. Nice. Ah, okay. Mm. <laughs> well, Austin, I'm gonna make Brother Lomas happy on this one. Vote the Burbs. <laughs> the Burbs. Oh, right. yeah. the burb. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, we're dead. All right. So we got Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade going up against Ghostbusters Two. Ooh. All right. All Ooh, right. Uh, Ryan's up first. All right, cousin Ryan, you're up first. Okay, I know I said Indiana Jones is up there. Uh, again, not my favorite. So Ghostbusters two, all the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Renee? Renee. Ghostbusters two. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. Tommy? Uh, Last Crusade. Yeah. Uh, Moose, what do you think? I gotta let my dad decide. I can't decide on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever hey, you Dad, want. you have to, Dad, quote a line and then we'll know which one it is. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate this. Oh, it's Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. uh, nope, that's not. Yeah, that's not. Ghostbusters 2. That's Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. And I think that's from Ghostbusters 1, yeah. but I, I know what you mean, brother. <laughs> my dad. Yeah, yeah. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Austin, I'm confused to what the vote was. I, I need uh, clarification. He voted. Okay, for <laughs> I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I was confused for a second. Okay, um, you know what? Tournament fights is sometimes about anarchy, and it's not my 64, so I'll vote Ghostbusters too. <laughs> Even though Last yeah, Crusade's yeah. top 20 for me, <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah, I think that I probably have Ghostbusters two ranked a little higher, so I'll go Ghostbusters two. So all right. Another upset. I think Ghostbusters taking yeah. out Last Crusade. Are you gonna all say right. it, Moose? Moose? Moose, wasn't that your number four in your top sixty-four? That's why I didn't vote. Last Crusade. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got Thor Ragnarok, Ragnarok against Big yeah. Trouble in Little China. Oh, oh no! no. All right. Ragnarok. Oh, cool. You're up first, Austin, right? Okay. No, it's uh, Renee. No, we're, we're oh. way off. <laughs> Renee. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, off. I thought I went first right. last time. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's no, going to be Big Trouble in Little China for me. Yeah. Uh, Tommy? Uh, this one's tough because they're both uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, but Big Trouble in Little China. Mm. Well, Moose? You know what old Jack's? Burton says at a time like this, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Big trouble little time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Austin? Yeah. John Carpenter makes way better movies than Taika Waititi, for the most part. No. Nope. Big oh. trouble in Little China. <laughs> you insane? No. Taika Waititi, better director. But I love what we do in the shadows. But I love what we do in the shadows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was on here. It'd be harder. All right. But I love John Carpenter also. I'll say that. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, Thor. But right, Ryan? Jordan? Oh, yeah, he's a Thor. Okay. Ryan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Big Trouble, Little China. 
Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Truffle takes it out. Yay! Oh. <laughs> this All makes right. me so happy. Bye, Thor. Bye, Thor. <laughs> yeah, <bye-bye, Yeah>. <laughs> <All right. laughs> exactly. I told you guys last weekend. Uh, that, I was making sure that didn't go any further. So but we're moving. That right. Thor is gonna be pissed. Right. Come on, guys. Yeah. We'll make our flight tomorrow. Maybe. We need to get a Jack Burton pop figure if they have that, though. Uh, <laughs> Show what you got, Dad. We'll have so, that. Yeah, hang on. I'll be right back. We'll Let me go right grab right my father's watching. Jack Burton action figure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Jack an action figure. That's cool. Look. Nice. I love the chat right now. I love it. Allison is very big trouble little China. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Big <laughs> We'll we see. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad right. actually owns right. a Jack Burton oh, action figure. Yeah. <laughs> From Big Trouble. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> you just need a pork chop express to go with that. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but we have Casino versus Forrest Gump here. So, uh, yeah. all right. Uh, Tommy, so first. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I'm not a smart man, <laughs> but I'm going to pick for Forrest Gump. Yep. <laughs> Moose? You didn't finish the quote. I know what love is. Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Austin? I'm going to go casino. Yeah. yeah. Well, stupid is a stupid does, so Forrest Gump. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, hands down, Forrest Gump on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Renee? Uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> Forrest Gump, Gump. Moving on. Moving okay. on. Okay. All right. So we got the Goonies going up against Back to the Future. Ooh, oh. Ooh both Steven Spielberg <laughs> productions. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Moose. Moose. Yeah. Back to the Future? Yeah. Yeah. Back to the Future. Yeah. Austin? Uh, back to the Future. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Back to the future. Right? Yeah, uh, the Goonies. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Are they? Back to the future. Sorry, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like sloth. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy? Uh, again, I'm going with the Libyans. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's it. Back to the future. <laughs> The Libyans, yeah. <laughs> I guess I have one question for you. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have Jurassic Park versus the Temple of Doom. So. All right. And hmm. Austin. I, I'm, I'm almost in a chaos mood again tonight. You know <laughs> yeah. what? Just for, just for anarchy's sake, I'm going to go Temple of Doom. Just for anarchy's sake. Right. Yeah, if you guys want to see a real chaos episode, tune into our best Christmas uh, tournament fights where we have like Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two, and like yeah, which two, nobody like, had Christmas. seen except for me. <laughs> I my selling it the whole show got everybody to vote for it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like on the it's like on the guilty like when Moose was on our guilty pleasure episode, and I sold Vice Squad so hard that it got it into the oh, elite. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. He's a good salesman. Yeah, but but. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go for Jurassic Park. It's top five all time for me. So, Ryan. Uh, yeah, Jurassic Park for me. Yep. Uh, Renee. Jurassic Park. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. Uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Moose. Hold on to your butts. Jurassic Park. Yep. Ah, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say the magic word. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right. What's the other one? Uh, we have, in the Jeep and we have Avengers Endgame going up against the Princess Bride. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. oh. So who's first? <laughs> uh, Jordan, you're up first. What is it? I'm about to sneeze. Oh, Avengers Endgame against. Oh, right. Sorry. Bless you. Uh, thank you. Bless um, you. Yeah, I got. Oh man, I thought I knew where I was going, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll go with Avengers Endgame, but it's really close for me. Ryan. 
not even close. He says the famous line, Avengers Assemble, give me some Endgame. Yep, <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, there will never be nothing, then, anything else like Endgame, so Endgame. Yep. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Uh, End, uh, Endgame, uh, Endgame, Princess Bride is yeah. one of the greatest movies ever, but Endgame put it all, you know, finished it all off. Yeah. <laughs> Moose? Endgame is the best MCU movie. Fun story. Uh, on a flight to Scotland, my father watched Avengers Endgame and then walked over and said, Tony Stark's coming back, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Avengers it's a multiverse. Uh, anything, yeah, yeah, anything's possible. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. You walked on a you walked around on a plane, Dad? Jeez. It was a very yeah. long it was a very long flight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Austin? Princess Bread. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> end game it is. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I know you're not probably huge on either one, Austin, but yeah. I, I'm actually not that big on Princess Bread either, to be honest. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Well, that'll be the end of that round. So the winners of this next round will be in our poll tomorrow. So. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we still have Uncle so Bob. There. Almost there. Zoom, Uncle Bob. Out yeah. Is this Elite Eight? The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Uh, well, we're good. We're, uh, the winners of this one will be in the Elite Eight. Yeah, they, oh, the winners yeah. will be in the Elite Sixteen. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are at the Sweet Sixteen right now. Yes. Uh, so Ryan's up first for Uncle Buck versus Dark Knight. Uncle yeah. Buck. Uncle Buck. John mm. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Buck for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Tommy. Uncle Buck. Mm. <laughs> Moose. You be? Yeah. You be. <laughs> yeah. Um, Austin. Uncle Buck. Oh, man. Got some chaos. I'll just vote um, Uncle Buck, even though I, I think Dark Knight's a better movie. We'll go with the with the chaos tonight. So, Uncle Buck. <laughs> That's not chaos. Uh, I genuinely love Uncle yeah. Buck that much, too. It's one of my favorite comedies of all time. My goodness. Yeah, it's not, that's not chaos. Dark Knight uh, yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is but damn, Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. <laughs> well, I think that's true with this group, but it, but I think if you ask like like a majority yeah. of people, I think they maybe go with Dark Knight, but that's, I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? They would have to be uh -huh. younger than us, though. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have Tommy Boy going up into the sting. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, Renee, you're up first. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go with the Sting classic. Yeah. Okay. Tommy? Uh, Sting with your favorite movie? I've said it three times. Yeah, it's my favorite movie. So I got to go with it, the Sting. My favorite movie going up against the movie with, like with your name in it. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. The Rotary Girder. That, the, you know, yeah, I am right. the Rotary Girder. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Moose? Moose? <laughs> Sorry, I just caught the tail end of that. That was funny. Uh, the sting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Austin. Uh, I'll go Tommy Boy. Wow, a mini fridge. You can fill it with beer or soda. Yeah. Soda yeah. in there. <laughs> I'm going to go Tommy Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lots that of guys go to school for seven show. years. Yeah, they do. They're called doctors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch Tommy Boy now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna so run for Tommy Boy, Ryan. Oh, Tommy Boy, hands down. Yeah. So I think that's oh, hey. oh, hang on, hang on. It's a tie. We got a first tie. Hey, oh, all right. Oh. Hey. Hey, so, uh, wait, so now I can finally. I can finally explain the tiebreaker <laughs> rules. <laughs> you know, <laughs> three hours into the show, yeah, so uh, so how the how the tiebreaker works is if when we do have a tie, I keep track of uh, the order of this, but we just give one tiebreaker vote, and but the tiebreaker vote rotates uh, on as to who has it. So it starts at the bottom, just like we started at the bottom of the end of the show. So yep. Ryan gets That's the right. tiebreaker vote, although. With the tiebreaker vote, since you have all the power, you can stick with what you originally voted for, or you can do a last-minute flip. You have all the power, so anything you like. And so, for instance, if we have another tie, Renee will get the tiebreaker vote. So that's that's kind of how that works. Yeah, that's so, uh, but Ryan, Ryan has the power. Yeah. <laughs> you can influence him. You can you can tell him to do the you know do the right thing, whatever. You can you can yeah. you can bribe <laughs> him, <laughs> whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. 
Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Ryan, is this working? No, you're going to give me time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. What kind of hotel is this? Yeah. All right. Tell me what I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. You know? Yeah. The record is saying he's the only Raiders fan associated with this family. Oh, yeah. Devontae Adams, baby. Woo. Woo. All right. Well, we have Ghostbusters going up against Raiders of the Lost Ark. Wow. Oh, what a joke. Yeah. Oh, that's a, yeah. What a match. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, tell me, you got to go first, sir. So, what do you got? Uh, again, a juggernaut, but I couldn't call myself a hoss. Ghostbusters. Yep. <laughs> a moose? Can you stick with your favorite? Is there something strange in the neighborhood? <laughs> Dad, that's like, oh. like what come do I say on. now? Come on. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? You gonna call somebody else, I guess. <laughs> but uh have you yourself awesome. ever experienced a spook specter or ghost? How much Bill where he doesn't give a shit in that scene? <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Guys, we got one. Let's go with Ghostbusters. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, there is no Dana, only Zool. Give me some yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Renee, I want to quote a line, but I'm not going to do it. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Renee, you could you could just say dropping off a picking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JD, love it. Yep. <laughs> Classic. But uh, let's see. We so um, Ghostbusters will be in the Elite Eight. So, yeah, uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy versus, versus Step, Step Brothers. Brothers. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. wow. Oh, tough matches. Um, yeah. All right, Moose, you're up, sir. Guardians or Step Brothers? <laughs> yeah. Whew. I Guardians. Let's go, Guardians. <laughs> All right, we'll go, Guardians. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough right. one. Uh, we might have to find it out later. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Awesome. Uh, I'll go Step Brothers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Guardians. So, Ryan. Oh, Guardians, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Renee. Yeah. Guardians. Yeah. Mm. Tommy. Um, when I come, I produce a court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my vote. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. It's just a quote from a movie. It's, it's not it's a, a quote from a yeah. movie. Right? Exactly. Hope we don't have any children, children watching. He picked the most vulgar line of the whole movie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my first time on. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. First timer here. First timer here. Okay. <laughs> I'll quote another, uh, another Wolf Ferrell movie. Earmuffs, earmuffs, kids, earmuffs. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Let's right. reverse that yeah. through editing. Do earmuffs yeah. first, yeah. and then yeah. I say my line, <laughs> and then we're going yeah. to jump in. Right. Uh-huh. We'll edit that out of the live show. Yeah, yeah. We'll oh, wait, it's live? oh, wait, we're live. Oh, I'm just kidding. Tom, we love you, dude. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. What? We have Return of right. the Jedi Sorry. up against the Burbs. Versus the Burbs. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's first? Me? Me. Oh, gee. Okay. Me. Uh, why the hell not the Burbs? We need more Joe Dante <laughs> in these 64s. <laughs> well, the wrong Joe Dante movies in here, in my opinion, so... Yeah, it but should be like, Gremlins too, Moose. Why yeah, the hell is it Gremlins yeah. two on your list? <laughs> Gremlins two, come That's on. The... Yeah, but but you ever got on the Gremlins go. train? Yeah. Oh come on! We gotta go with Return of the Jedi for me. So. That's why you gotta watch Gremlins too, because it makes fun of Gremlins. It's the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get my rewatch for you, Pez. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Ryan. Yeah, give me Return of the Jedi for me. Yeah. Mm. Or Uh, the Burbs. Yeah. Hmm. Tommy? Yeah, I'm going with the burbs. Oh, all Ooh. right. Moose? Moose. <laughs> I know you want the Jedi. <laughs> we can go burbs. Burbs. <laughs> oh, Mom has oh, burbs. Burbs. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought we were going to have a tie. 
<laughs> yeah, so wow, I okay. Was that a tie? All right. The birds, it might be Almost. a bit of an upset. Oh, Perp squeaked so, it out. Not a yeah. single yeah. Star Wars movie in the South. Squeaked it out. Yeah, <laughs> I know. No, but it won't be in the Elite Eight. So, but we have to put Jar Jar Bates in there. <laughs> Going up against Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, what's oh, this two in Big Trouble? Yeah. Oh, all right. all right, Jordan. All right. I think I got to go Ghostbusters too. I don't know the quotes as much, or I'd say one, but <laughs> uh, but uh, Ryan. Yeah, I can't. Oh, this is so hard. Um, <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Renee. Oh, <laughs> big trouble, in little China. Oh, Tommy, big trouble. Uh, big trouble in little China. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Big trouble, in little Oof. China. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And Here you go. I'll also go big trouble. Rooting for uh, yeah. big trouble. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big big trouble. Moving on. I'm All a little right. surprised, but. But yeah, oh, not not so. in the Haas household, Bernard. I know this is a Haas yeah, day. Yeah, right. Like, right. Yeah, this is a, yeah. here. It'll I be thought, a yeah. Yeah. You're getting all of our Ghostbusters. I thought good you usually might have played bigger. But, most, yeah. Usually on our usual panel, if Big Trouble came up, be like, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. get on the Big Trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on, right. get on the Express. Let's go. Yeah. All right. right, the pork chop. We got Forrest Gump Come versus on. Back to the Future. Oh, two Robert Zemeckis Ooh. movies. Zemeckis yeah. versus Zemeckis. Ooh, yeah. interesting. The Zemeckis yeah. battle. All right. All right. So uh, we are going Ryan first on this one. Great Scott. Back to the Future. Yep. <laughs> no, okay. Forrest Gump for me. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. I do too. All right. I'm going to say it again. But this time I'm going to act it out. So the guy <laughs> comes out of the Volkswagen bus with a rocket launcher. And what does Christopher Lloyd say? Anyone? The Millennials! Thank you. There you go. I recently, uh, so I follow Christopher Lloyd on Twitter, and the other day he said, is it 1955 still? So then I tweeted it back and said, you mean November 5th, 1955, when you discovered the idea for the flux capacitor? So we'll go back. Yeah. And, <laughs> and oh, I got a, I got a heart from him. Nice, oh, nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey. Um, but... Uh, so you're voting for Back to the Future, Moose? Yeah. yeah. yeah we're going to go Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah. feels very good. Yeah. We love Forrest Gump. Yeah. Also yeah. a great soundtrack in, in and of itself right there. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. The Libyans. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I'll say Back to the Future. Yeah. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Back to the yeah. Future. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Sure it is. All right, we got Jurassic Park versus Avengers Endgame. Oh, that's not yeah, this sucks. <laughs> well, top ten for me. Oh. All right, Renee. Oh my gosh, I have to go first. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say Avengers Endgame. Mm. Mm. All right. I know. I'm sorry, Tommy. Oh. It's just it wrapped it up so nicely. It just is. There's nothing like I know. it. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, I know. I well, I hate to do it too. I mean, Avengers Endgame is awesome. Jurassic Park is awesome. If I had to pick one, I mean, I'm going to Endgame. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. Loose. I like it. No. Sorry, Pez. I, I, <laughs> this is like my number two and three movie. So uh, you can. Yeah, these are. It's not telling. Yeah, I'm not upset by that. Austin is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Jurassic Park. Sorry, not in game. Not in game. Yeah. If, it was, if it was Jurassic Park versus Infinity War, you might have something there, but no. Yeah. Dots in here. We got dots in here. We got Nobody, cares. Here. Nobody cares. Yeah, Nobody yeah, we gotta cares. go with, yeah. with Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Orion? I am Iron Man. Give me some end game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Is that an Iron Man pig? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is that an Iron Man tattoo on your forearm? Yeah, you missed that. You 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 left for that. <laughs> well, what are the votes? The Vader's that? tattoo on the end game. No, end game. End game. Yeah. End game. But I'll agree with the angel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There can only so, be one. There can only be one. Oh. All right. There's only eight movies left here. Let's see. We got Uncle Bob. Right, run it down. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Uncle I'm going to zoom it out. Uncle Bob versus Tommy Boy. All right. Tommy Boy. Oh, two classics. Damn. That's, that's oh, two comedies. Wow. Yeah. Lord. All right. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, Tommy, you're up first. What do you got? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uncle Bob. I want to say. Shit. <laughs> Uncle yeah, Buck. Yeah. Mm. All right, Moose. Oh, yeah. Sorry. sorry. No, Moose. 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 You're going the wrong way. Oh, right. yeah. Moose. Sorry, sorry. I want you to take this quarter and go downtown and have a wrap. <laughs> Not that thing off. Not that thing off your face. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Buck, you be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. All right. Austin? Uncle Buck. I'm going Uncle Buck. Love John Candy. Yeah. So you're driving along, you're driving along, and the kids are in the back saying, Daddy, I got to go to the bathroom. And you see this big tire in, on the road, and you, you stop her. Now, here's what it's like with the other guys. <laughs> you go off a cliff. Ah, I'm burning alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stuff. Uh, Tommy Boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. Yeah. <laughs> New guys puking right. in the corner. You know, yeah, I can get a good look at a T-bone by sticking my head up a bull's ass, but I'd rather trust the butcher. So I'm going to say Tommy yeah. Boy. Oh, yeah. nice, Ryan. <laughs> nice. Wow, I'm nice. Ryan, I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm going to go Uncle Buck, even though I love David Spade and Chris Farley. Together. Uh, Come on. I know, Come man. On. You know All my right. love for David Spade runs deep. Right. Hey, Uncle Buck into the final family. four. Uncle Buck, all right. You be. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, yeah. into the final four. Yeah, what do we got? All right, yeah. we got Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters against Guardians, versus of, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. Oh, Tommy, what do we do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, uh, Moose is up first. <laughs> all right. Guardians had a good run. I'm glad it made it this far, uh, but come on. I feel like the Ghostbusters should win the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. Austin? Ghostbusters. I think I got to go Guardians of it ranked slightly higher on my personal list. So I'm not coming back on the show. Yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. 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 <laughs> got to do it to you. <laughs> nah, nah. Hey, I, I need Moose to be on my show so he can vote for Phantom with me. He's the only one on the planet who will. Yeah, <laughs> so right. I need him back. <laughs> yeah. You voted for Ghostbusters, Austin. You sold me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to come All over right. to y'all's family reunion and watch Ghostbusters and Uncle Buck with y'all, and we'll have a Let's great go. time. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ryan. Big in Little China, that one too. Yeah, yeah all these. If someone asks yeah. if you're a god, you say yes. Come on, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh, no. This is like my top one and two. Uh, okay, no. so I'm going to go with Ghostbusters. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I have to. Ghostbusters. Oh, all right. All right. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters in the final four. All yeah. right. We're on the other side. We can stay right there if you want to on the other side. We'll just we'll get we'll get to it anyways. Yeah. Or either one. Sure. I mean, we'll have to yeah. move back up anyways. Um, yeah. Back to the future so versus Back to the Future versus Avengers yeah. Endgame. Oh, this is easy for me. Back to the Future, <laughs> easy. Uh, they're both top ten, but Back to the Future is higher. So Back to the Future. Avengers right. Endgame references Back to the Future. Just want to remind everybody. Just remind everybody of that. All right, good, Ryan. You know, you actually uh -huh. just took the quote I was going to use, but yeah, go for it. Avengers yeah. Endgame, <laughs> all the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Renee. What are the two choices again? Oh, Back to the Future. Future <laughs> and Avengers Endgame. Yeah. 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 Um, Avengers yeah. Endgame. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. Tommy. Okay, so there's this country in the Middle East. I think it's called Libya. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Back to the Future. 
Over eventually. Think with the Libyans. The Libyans. That clothing means a lot to me. Avengers. Oh, all right. Avengers. Oh, you said Avengers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With that, we have another tie, and this okay, time okay. it goes to Renee. Gets the tiebreaker right. vote. <laughs> yeah, you can pick whatever you want. Maybe yeah. we know how it's though. ending. We know how it's ending. Yeah. All right, Avengers Endgame. I'm not mad about it. Still four. in my top ten. So yeah, but well, not quite. All right. Yet, one more, so. But the yeah. burbs and big trouble yeah. in little China, a little eighties battle. Oh. I like it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> cool. All right, all right. Jordan's up first. Yeah. Well, actually, I haven't voted for it all night just based on the matchups, but I got to go big trouble in little China this time. So, yeah. Uh, Ryan. Oh, big trouble. Yeah. Or yeah, big trouble in little China. Yeah. Tommy. Uh, big trouble in little China. Yeah. Moose? Big trouble in Little China. Yeah. <laughs> Austin? Everybody relax. I'm here. Big trouble in Little China. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. The clean sweep. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we have the final four here, so th this is it. So uh, we got first up, Uncle Buck versus Ghostbusters. Oh, All sucks. right, and right back down to the bottom with Ryan starting first. That's easy, Ryan. Come on. Yeah, it's Ghostbusters. Insanely yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters right. for me. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Here you go. <laughs> Allison says, "I mean, are you sure I'm not a member of the Hoss family?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do I remember? Yeah. Just, it might be. Trouble, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just heard that. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> you are definitely part of the Haas household. Yeah. All right. Well, What's Tommy? Um, even though the superintendent's going to be pissed, I'm going to pick the Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be pissed. Yeah. Good one, dude. Uh -huh. Moose? Did you know that Dan Aykroyd was originally cast as Lewis Tully in the Ghostbusters mm. movies? But he Ooh, elected that's... not to do the movie, and Rick Moranis got the role. Oh, wow. Crazy thinking. But of course, Ghostbusters yeah. is moving through. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Austin? Yeah, I'm really happy that Uncle Buck made it to the final four. Yeah, I love that movie yeah. tremendously. Uh, but yeah, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you the key master? <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. All Ghostbusters right, yeah. into the finals. Damn it. All right. Yep. This match All right. Is yeah. Yeah. Big so here we go. We got end game. Big Trouble versus Endgame. Yeah. Uh, Renee. Oh. Okay. I'm going purely based on emotion here. So it's Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If these two well, movies didn't uh, face off in the Haas household as one, two, um, again, I'm not a Haas. So Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> yeah. 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 Big uh, trouble, little China. All right. Big trouble, little China. Yeah. Uh, Austin. Well, I'm a very reasonable guy, but I've just experienced some very unreasonable things. <laughs> Big trouble. Yeah. Austin, I don't yeah. know whether to like hate you Burton. or like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All over me, right? The game shouldn't be Pez. It should be Jack Burton. Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> Well, then you gotta go with with Endgame. I just have it ranked a little higher, so yeah. Uh, uh, Ryan, Endgame for me. I, I hate saying my dad's watching. He's probably super pissed at me right now, but Endgame, <laughs> yeah, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you cried in the like the first three seconds of it. So hey, I cried throughout <laughs> the entire movie. Let's be real. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, when Steve caught Mjolnir, come on, let's be real. I yeah, I yeah, no. No There's a lot of those moments, yeah. Agreed. I, did, Agreed. I did look at Ryan but with tears in my eyes with the on the left moment. But it's going to be big trouble, though. Big trouble, four to two, the uh, yeah. underdog of the tournament yeah. here. Yeah. Right. But this is the this real is 
I, I, I got the feeling this is the true Haas family battle right here with Big Trouble versus Ghostbusters. From the sentiments that I've heard. So I I, I, yeah. I have a feeling this is go. this is gonna be very contentious. Yeah, yeah. Ghostbusters right. versus Big Trouble for the title. <laughs> and we start. We start with Tommy. Mm. Go ahead. Let's go, boy. Um uh, I mean there can only be one. Ghostbusters. There it is. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, Moose. I think if there is one movie that defined Tommy, Renee, and Cousin Ryan's youth, uh, it would definitely be Darby O'Gill and the Little People. I'm not going to go Ghostbusters. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> classic Sean Connery right there. Yeah, oh, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, but and then James Bond, like, he, yeah, yeah, right. And then James Bond, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, Austin, sir. Well, there's a quote from Big Trouble in Little China that applies to me, especially here on tournament fights. That sooner or later, I rub everybody the wrong way. Big Trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my mind blank, but sorry, guys. I thought of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Sorry. <laughs> so I got to go Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's okay. Yep. Who, who, who Ghost started Buster this game. round? Who started this round? Tommy. Uh, Damn it. Yes, okay. Tommy. Yeah. I wish yeah. it was me last because yeah, right we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Give me some Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Yeah, I'll say All right. it. Make it official. We, saw, we kicked its Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. All right, and there you have it. Ghostbusters, it is. All right, there, there you go. go. Wow. Yeah. Now, the question, Moose, what is your actual number one? Is it Ghostbusters or is it something else? There, I did it something to get knocked out. Yeah, it actually is, like legitimately. It actually yeah, is. Okay, first, so for yeah. the first time, we've first had a number time. one win the whole thing. Excellent. Yeah. There you go. First time right, on tournament yeah, cards. Right, we right. started doing it. First, first Excellent. Time, yeah. yeah. All the right. key is you got to stack family members into the group. Yeah, yeah you just get your family on the episode, <laughs> and then That's you'll get right. your number one there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zoom it out, though. It's a huge tournament. You can kind of see what mm -hmm. is it. Moose is your number one and number five. Jeez, Mark. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, but it's but uh, uh, so for people who have done their top sixty four, like maybe in a while, take like six months off. You can come back with the one twenty eight, and we'll do a three part series. But God. but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but give it some time yeah. to pass, you know. Right. But but yeah, <laughs> some time to let it well, sink in. All we'll of set that, aside but... a uh, Saturday morning for that. Episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and take all day. Yes. Yeah, but <laughs> we'll break it up into three separate episodes is what we right, do. Right, so, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, but thanks again, guys, for uh, joining us for that. That was a lot of fun. So yeah, that was, that was that fun. Fun. Yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark, you're welcome. Thank you yeah, so that was much fun. for inviting us. No, hey, mm -hmm. Jordan and Austin, thank you guys for oh, one, of course me of all people. <laughs> to do a yeah. type of panel like this to explore my favorite movies, and then two, allowing my family to come on with us. This was so yeah, much fun. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Like a hot dream come true for all of us. Right. To be on something <laughs> like this. Wow. So, uh, thank you guys so much, and thank you, Renee, Tommy, Ryan, Papa Haas, for being on as well. This was a lot of fun. I'm so glad mm -hmm. we all got to do this together. That's the way we like to do it, is like bringing – uh, uh, family and friends together, you know, the more we can do that, the better. So, so yeah, we to have your family good. come on here and confirm what you already knew that all you guys love Ghostbusters more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, so right. there you go. <laughs> 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 it only took three hours and 20 minutes to get there. Hey, to be fair. This is one of the shorter episodes that Moose Haas has yeah. ever been on no. on Turner yeah. Fights. No, so, no, you know? I, I, yeah. not, I think I was on one. Didn't we get close to six hours? Yeah. No, we got we five, five hours. We got five, five hours five. on oh on the uh, on the, wow, the guilty five. pleasure. Yeah, we went five. Yeah, and on a TV yeah. one where we all had our uh, 
12 favorite TV shows. It was like a versus thing of everybody's. Yeah, we went about okay. four and a half. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Let me, let me gripe about that episode really quick. Because the office <laughs> didn't even okay, make so it to the top 10. this still might be 10. one of the longest episodes. Yeah. yeah. The office yeah. got voted out of the top 10 for greatest mm-hmm. TV shows of all time. I'm sorry. Wait, The this Office did? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. Okay, now so I have a problem yeah. with this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is happening? No. Yeah, I'm gonna text you Austin and Jordan's address. Yeah, and- <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boys, well, you see me personally in the next couple yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say my top sixty-four, my number one movie got voted out first round. So I mean, and I got voted out. What another- happens? It's subjective. Number right? one was. A- was the movie Logan and it lost to freaking Napoleon Dynamite of all movies. Oh, I love Logan. <laughs> kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on. Ah. Yeah. But I had some of my family it's on there. Movie. And like we're all Idahoans, and so it's like we're a big Napoleon Dynamite fans, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> but but yeah, that was fun. So uh we'll just go around the horn if you guys have any uh uh anything you want to plug, any last minute words, like where we can find you, all that stuff. So so we'll start with with Ryan, where can we find you? Uh, yeah, check me out at, on Twitter, at Cousin Ryan2021. And keep your guys' eyes and ears open for something coming between uh, Moose and I. We're, uh, we're playing around with some ideas and for all nerd kinds. Nice. So just keep, <laughs> it, keep it out for there. So, yeah. Awesome. Look forward to that. Yeah. And, um, and Renee, where can we find you? You can find me working in a classroom every day. <laughs> um, and then coming home and cleaning my house and stuff like that. So that's where you can find me. And she'll, watching she'll Marvel movies too. and watching Star Wars movies and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Raising a teenager, all that There you go. Stuff. There you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Tommy, where can we find you? Uh, again, uh, you can't find me on any social media. So, <laughs> so the next time you'll see hey. me is the next time I get on one of these. And I'm sure this is the, you know, most viewed episode already. So I'm happy I'll be invited back. So. It, it might be all, just because we had, we had some of our regulars in the comments as well as like the entire Haas family, you know, extended family. So, right, you know, right. we, we probably had more people watching live than we've ever had. Yeah. That's but, uh, in all seriousness, and, regular and, and thank you to Austin and to Jordan. Thank yeah. you guys. Yeah, Appreciate it. Of course. That's cool. Thank yeah, you. Of course. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is fun. So we're the stars now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, you're, you're the star, Dad. You're yeah. the star. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh. Well, Moose, where can we find you and your dad? <laughs> uh, starting yeah, tomorrow. Where can we find you, Moose? On a plane. On a plane, on a plane to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but hey, I am hey. Awesome. Well, hey. It, 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 don't they have the on-demand movie? So you gotta you gotta find Ghostbusters and watch it again uh, on the no, plane. The so there you go. That's part of your prize. <laughs> no problem yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> seriously though, thank you guys. This was a lot of fun. I love that I got to do this with my brothers, my sister, my cousin, and my dad, yeah. and yeah. wife yeah. and mother chiming in in the background as well. So <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah. Much. A lot of fun. I'm on Twitter at at Moose Haas. Nobody cares. So. <laughs> uh, Come on, we Moose. care. We care. Yes, we do. Uh, we we care. don't know that you're on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. Well, well, Austin, where can we find you? Well, uh, yeah, I co-host most of the shows with Jordan here on the Movie Hero Network, uh, Tier Ranker Fights and Tournament Fights. You can see all kinds of shows like these, the People's Personal Top 64s, all kinds of different topics. Check out our archives. You'll see all kinds of good stuff. Uh, I do a, a Let's Rank Stuff a, a ranking show with Henry Confidential over on his channel. We just did uh, Stanley Kubrick films. That was a lot of fun. Really dug into that. And then uh, we're blowing that off since we got so heavy with Stanley Kubrick. This next week we're doing Texas Chainsaw Massacre, <laughs> the whole franchise. So <laughs> just the complete opposite of like, you know, just something lighthearted and fun. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing that. And, uh, yeah, we have a podcast about movies here on this channel. Me and Jacob Barber just uh, – doing random recommendation shows. It's a lot of fun. And uh, the Lonely Marks Wrestling Podcast, if, you're, if you like wrestling. So all those are a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And um, and you can find uh, um, all things about the, the Movie Hero Network and all the social media at Movie Hero 2121. You can find us all on, on Facebook, uh, uh, on the Schmodown Friends and Family group. Uh, you'll be able to find the the uh, poll for this episode with the Elite Eight will be there uh, probably around like midday tomorrow. So you can 
you can watch for that there. And then uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe uh, button, definitely uh, do that. that. That really helps us out. Uh, uh, we're, we're doing a big push for subscribers. We want to do a, a big giveaway when we reach 200 subscribers. So it's a slow climb, but we're, we're slowly working our way there. And uh, just to give you a little preview of some things we have coming up. So uh, a few episodes. Uh, so on Tuesday, we're doing best coming of age movies. So uh, we got that. And then we're, uh, we're doing one that's going to be uh, uh, me versus one of the, the other regulars from our, our uh, channel. I mean, Steven Shepard, we're going to go up in a battle of our favorite TV characters of all time. He picked 32 and I picked 32. So we're going to have a, a big tournament of movie characters. I mean, uh, of TV characters is what it is. So, yeah, we're doing that. Uh, we also have uh, Jim Carrey versus Robin Williams. We're doing 32 from each of their filmographies. We're going to put those uh, up against e each other. Uh, we also have Best Action Movies of the 80s coming up. I mean, hang uh, on. It's it's yeah. obviously Robin Williams, right? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see which movie comes out on top. I mean, it's going to be be 32 from each of their filmographies, so we'll see. Who has the hair <laughs> and knuckles? Hands down. <laughs> Maybe yeah. a funnier guy. I don't know. They, they yep, yep. Sure. <laughs> but we also have best disaster movies versus best uh, man versus uh, nature movies. So just movies where where people are trying to survive in um, out in the wild. We have thirty movies of those. We get to vote. Vote for Volcano some more. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Volcano versus Dante. Go Tommy Lee. Lee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then just one more. We have best summer camp <laughs> movies coming up, up too. So those are just some um, episodes you can look forward to. So yeah, but this was a lot of fun. So uh, th wow. uh, uh, thank you guys again for uh, joining us for the episode. So if you ever want to come back, we're always happy to have any of you guys back anytime. So just let us know. Yes. So so yeah, but. But yeah, that that will uh, do it for us tonight. So, uh, for uh, cousin Ryan, for uh, Renee, for Tommy, for Moose, for Moose's dad that that is off screen, for Austin, <laughs> I've been Jordan Movie Hero Anderson, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>